we're live. We're live now. That's oh, our okay. side note. I <laughs> fucked cool. up literally every possible technological thing this entire time, <laughs> and uh, it's been rowdy, rowdy in the cast room. <laughs> um, Stella's on a roll. Oh, <laughs> it's something. Yay! Stella's definitely on something. Yeah. Stella, oh, yeah. You want some? You want she brought food? cake today, so brought, oh, you're part of it. I brought extra <laughs> hairless smooth cake. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Diefall Presents <clears throat> an Auric as I ignore the rest of my cast forever now. <laughs> Hopefully everything's working, including audio, because a nice Windows <laughs> update fucked everything. So Story of the Streamer Life. Here we are. Here we, yeah, type one if not sucking, and then we'll go from there. Uh, this is a Dungeons and Dragons show, I think. Everything that type came- if sucking? What kind <laughs> of sucking? Type two. <laughs> type two if sucking. Two if sucking? All right, sorry. Two if sucking. Oh, God. Oh, okay, Beth. All right. That's <laughs> that's just rude at this point. Did, oh, Chad, did you mean. Uh, no. Did you know that Beth is significantly uh, smaller than the energy she gives off? Like on stream. I don't know Sorry, if you I, know this. She is very small. Are you like, small? Like, are you small. small with an O? Yes. Beth, how tall are you? I'm five two. Oh, so when I when I met Beth, we were this we were the, I was like I was like I didn't realize we were gonna be eye level and then it was. Oh my god! I'm taller than someone. <laughs> so good. I I'm oh not gonna god, lie, Beth. Love, I thought you guys were like, like I six one or something. Right? I protect. Beth's really? got six one I energy. I thought you were tall, Beth. Oh, yeah. Wow, guys, thank you. Nope, ready for it? I'm ready. Oh, we're gonna go full frame in the back. Look at those. <sighs> what is she doing? She is tiny. <laughs> You are small. <laughs> You're so small. It looks like you ran so far away. Uh, yeah. <laughs> God, it's one of those perspective museums where, like, you oh, run to one end and it makes you really tall. It, it looked like you ran so far away. Oh my it God, so Beth, funny. you're so cute. Oh, what? Oh, oh. Are you in a normal room? Beth, are you taken? I was just like, Am man, I, she must have like are you vaulted taken? ceilings or something. By any chance? Do you have room in your I, life for a girlfriend? I, I, um... I'll talk to my husband about it. Oh, I'll talk to him, too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, oh. Just checking your pocket. We're gonna play Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> at some point tonight, but I, there's some energy in the cast here that we're just gonna let ride for a second. This is... It's good. It's good to be back! It's, it's good called, to be back. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure it's called needing to touch grass energy, at least on my <laughs> end, but you know. Need to go outside and touch some grass. <laughs> oh, God. Um, yeah, so hopefully everything's not broken, um, and, and we can make this whole thing work. Welcome back, my lovely cast. It's great to see you. I got to meet uh, Beth in person, which was everything I could have ever dreamed of. Aw, dude. And uh, it, it was really, really good. Um, Oh, that's what I totally forgot. I have like this little spiel I'm supposed to give at the top of the show and I wrote down so it would never be forgotten. Uh, but now I don't know where that is because it's been two weeks since I've run any of these shows. <laughs> so now I don't know what I need to be doing. Oh, here it is. Got it. Oh, and the deck of many. Oh, that's right. Oh God, we do that on this show. Right, okay. Diefall presents Ruin, an original 5th edition D&D cooperative campaign featuring three heroic odysseys to escape hell. Three parties embark on unique journeys through the many layers of hell where their actions will lead to consequences for one another. Welcome to Team Auric, Gold Team. Congratulations. Um, there are three ways our viewers can interact with this game. First, you can invoke fate by, t by using exclamation point fate in the chat there for various effects. $2 for plus two to a roll, $5 for a re-roll, $10 to a nat 20, $20 for a draw from the deck of many, and $69 to invoke chaos. Be sure to identify the players you want to influence. Otherwise, I will have no idea who to give those to. And remember, kids, you can also give them to me. Don't, uh, don't, don't. Uh, you did it last you time. Saw, yeah. Yeah, last can can, time can we that. invoke a, a, an, an addendum to that rule? Can it be like if they give you the the, the, the nat 20, can it be a natural one instead? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I would go broke. You, you have to choice. roll. Uh, I would go broke. <laughs> <laughs> 
Every time she yeah. has a special yeah. she's donating all of her money so her own DM can fail. Just <laughs> <laughs> like. Oh, but, you know no, but we can't do it. We can't do it. We can't. Yeah, do it. sure. You know what? If you want to get no, no, no. If you want to give players or me a nat one, we're adding it. It's happening. This is it. You made yourselves the guinea pigs wow. for this. Congratulations. I'm sorry. Oh, it's gonna be good. Thirdly, it's okay. It's patrons. my natural state, anyways. So. Oh, that's well. <laughs> patrons may participate in various mini games within the shard of Discord, the central location of our campaign, which we will be getting to eventually, I'm sure, in one of these episodes. These mini games will affect world building, story setting, NPCs, future events. Use exclamation point Patreon in the chat for more information. We'll be doing a stream for all of the the patrons and stuff like that next week to get it up and running. Uh, we have, I think, there was like. 15 people that joined, and we have eight characters already made for this, so I'm super stoked. It's gonna be really cool. And I designed a whole game for you to play. So play it. All right, that's the intro spiel. I, what, did I, did I, what did I miss? What have I missed? Anyone? Bueller? We weren't talking. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. Well, that's, um, draw for Balra. Okay, Balra, you've apparently got a deck of many draw at some point in time. Let's, um. What up? We'll make that. <laughs> we'll make that work. We'll make that work. Okay. <laughs> um. Any anything that anyone would like to add before I make you roll for recap? Oh God, I forgot about recap rolls. Oh no. Yeah, no. What are you so yeah. Me into? Yeah. Yeah. Recap rolls. You, this is so why you take of notes. Every episode, Joel really loves to do this thing where he makes us all roll d20, and whoever rolls closest to his roll has to recap the last episode, preferably in character. <laughs> That's why last time I wrote my recap out so that I wouldn't be caught unawares. Uh, oh, man, I am so bad. I have the worst <laughs> oh, So, that being said, man, I feel like we just have to do it now. All right. Um... Go ahead and roll me some d20s. Yes. Uh, don't forget to, by the way, yes. change your name in the chat. Oh, yeah, to change the name. rolling name, just in case you haven't. Um, yeah. What? God damn. Just get it out early, Blurred. Get it out early. It's fine. <laughs> no one even gave it to me. <laughs> I was going to say, it's like, man, no one even need to pay for it. Unbelievable. Right. Wow. And then Finn, of, wow. <laughs> just burn it on. <laughs> well, uh, perfect. So. Uh, we have there a natural one, a 15, a natural 20, an 11, and an 8. So the closest to me is an 11, which is Dressay. Oh, good. Mm. Stella, would you please give us a recap as Dressay into what happened the last time we played? I know two weeks ago is super easy to remember. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Just whatever you remember, and I'll fill it in. Um, oh. Okay, so, all right, basically. It, this is gonna be hard to do as Drissé, because Drissé is like a calm voice and I do not feel calm today, so. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, the gang met up. We all met up at a pub. Uh, <clears throat> we all ended up converging together. Uh, what, what's his name? Pendulum decided to try and get a whole crew together to deliver baskets of duck. And then we got turned into ducks for a short minute. Uh, then we got turned back into humans and we noticed something, Drissé noticed something was wrong with the pub keeper, but they ended up want, walking out, yes, waddling away, if you so will. Uh, <laughs> and uh, they started walking down this path to go to this farmhouse that they saw yeah. in the distance. Nothing happened when we were in the bar. Absolutely nothing incredible happened before we left the bar. The duck thing happened. Did you say that? Yeah. Oh, it I'm was sorry. Like a, it I'm was an like asshole. a minor. It was like a minor footnote to the story here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Anyways, uh, <clears throat> so we walk outside, and you know what? Just for that, Beth, uh, Beth's character ate a rotten apple. Anyways, <laughs> <so> we... <laughs> <laughs> true. <laughs> so, uh, and I, being the daring. Uh, Weirdo that I am, I jumped off a, a tree <laughs> and took 11 jumped damage. Off a tree. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> so we walked down to the farmhouse. Uh, 
uh, oh my god, what's it? Be a perennial is very rude to this lovely family that is hosting a dinner, so I slam the door in her face. But that ends up going sideways for us because uh, this family ends up being a bunch of like monsters and I don't know what to call it, but like weird, gushy, squelching monsters that we end up having to fight. Um, so we fight, we kill the we kill the family. Um, uh, 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 Oh my god, Simply's character, I can't remember her name, uh, heals right in front of Beth's character, which was very interesting. And <clears throat> so then we find a letter that is, I believe, the king of that land asking for more uh, soldiers. And I think more, um, yeah, more people for his army. And, that, and, and then uh, Finn's character decided to make tea in this wreckage of a home, and that's where we left off. We like tea. We like tea. We like tea. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> that uh. That'll do it. That was pretty. That was pretty good. That was all right. You know, some props for that. Uh, for your recap, because we had ten retweets on the tweet already, you can take the first natural twenty of the uh, of the night here. Okay. There you go. There you go. That's for you. Congratulations. She didn't even talk about the ducks thing that much. <laughs> so there were some like <laughs> there was so duck much more. stuff. Uh, yeah, but yeah. So in the last episode, it was our first episode here. Um, I, you know, I was hoping that you would you would like say the name of the inn since we had like said the name and the the inn thing the whole time. Because I, I stuck no, in, no, where you have I'm, to stop it. Duck, to duck to get in, to get that in, <laughs> yeah. and to was. get out. And to, and to get out. Uh, yeah, and Andre had made a request of the party, specifically Pendulum, to gather a party and deliver some food to a needy family. Before that had happened, some chaos did some things, and everyone was ducks for a while and had to break their way out of um, whatever farmer's little enclosure, and um, they blasted him with magic. It was rather rude. But yeah, then there was a fight in the farmhouse with this... Uh, Family, and that's kind of where we find ourselves beginning in the aftermath of that particular battle with the blood all over the place. And as a small reminder to our players and our friends at home, uh, I'll, I'll just go ahead and we'll, we'll throw it up. We'll throw it up on the screen here and I'll, I'll We'll, we'll just show all the blood that is everywhere. <laughs> as well as Super Wide Guy. I forgot about Super <laughs> Wide Guy. Don't forget I lit a bonfire inside the house. You did light a bonfire inside the house. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which yeah, Balra is conveniently pillar. standing over. Well, I, I put <laughs> it out. She didn't I put realize it, out. it last time. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so this is where we find ourselves in the aftermath of this particularly tough fight. Who's um, the knife? It's me spiritual weapon. Oh. Yeah, yeah. the one I tried to uh, give a reroll on. Oh, everything froze. <laughs> everything froze. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. I think we're good. <laughs> also, we're live now, cast. Everything on my end broke again. Uh, uh, this, uh, welcome to my last D&D show ever. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Anyways. Yes, it was uh, Balra's knife. Uh, that is what is on the, the board there. A bone saw, actually. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So before I break anything else again, this is where we find our players um they have not yet done uh, much investigating of the room or or the bodies but they did find uh, a note a an order form of sorts signed by one gadarian um, they would know this as the ruler of this particular district known as the gadarian expanse now what would you all like to do I, I would like a hanky to wipe this black stuff off every part of my exposed skin, please. <laughs> While the tea is uh, brewing, whatever tea I may have found, hopefully, sure. I'll 
move over to Miss Perennial. All right, Miss Perennial, you do look like you've made quite a mess today. Would you like some assistance? Uh, absolutely, Thaddy. Have you ever seen me this way? Not in a very long time. <laughs> I'm just like gripping at his pockets, trying to find some piece of <laughs> some n- napkin, a handkerchief. He'll offer a handkerchief and pull out the prestidigitation magic eraser finger and start cleaning. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> very effective. That is what I'm feverishly doing. Sure. All right. Um, Balra, eventually your your <laughs> knife, your sword, <laughs> your saw does does go away. It does Dissipate, yeah. cancel. Um, what are you doing? Um, Balra is, like I said, she was collecting like the grit and gristle and fluids that she can um, in vials and jars if she has space. Uh, and then she probably pulls up a chair at this dining table and starts jotting notes about this fight and what she saw. Um, and we'll probably be asking Dressé and or Pendulum for, did you, how did that, um, when they exploded, do you remember a sound that he made? Um, was there anything specific to you guys? Uh, just kind of asking for facts and whatnot. Excellent. Say will poorly mimic the sound of it exploding into a car- into a, a monster. <laughs> she, she will write it out as close <laughs> as possible. <laughs> what is the sound of a monster becoming wide? How does that? The, the, I, I imagine it's very flatulent oh. sounding. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. True, Oh okay, true, true. I was gonna say it probably sounded like the uh, like the you know, the horn that would play in Inception every time. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, exactly. (laughs) She writes (laughs) (laughs) B-W-A-A-A-A. Oh, God. That's good. Okay, yeah. Um, Pendulum, what are you doing? Uh, uh, Pendulum is kind of standing uh, in, in the exact spot from... Uh, uh, I guess guess from right where the fight ended and is kind of off in La La Land (laughs) Uh, as much as 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 he can be uh, and is Baze's eyes are kind of flickering uh, as he's just kind of trying to uh, recollect himself uh, after he kind of briefly lost it (laughs) yeah um Okay. Yeah, I don't know if if any of the other if any of the characters noticed the like switch. It's happened twice now, mm-hmm. I think. Once mm-hmm. in this combat and once back at the bar. Uh mm-hmm. where Pendulum is no longer his like happy go lucky self in certain situations. But yeah, okay. Um for the time being, would you like to all take a short rest? Please. Mechanically, this all means that you basically take an hour to clean yourself up, much like B is. <laughs> Stitch up the wounds that you need to, bandage yourself as you as you can, <clears throat> and, and kind of prepare yourself for something more. If that's the case, go ahead and roll me some hit die. All right. Excuse me. You'll find that on your sheet there below your HP. You can roll up to your level in hit die. Uh, as many or as few as you would like there. Okay. Sorry. I have a dumb question. What's up? Why am I rolling hit die? What does this do? <clears throat> what does this do? Uh, it brings your hit points back. It is a... Ah. It's just uh like it simulates. Hey, we took a short rest. We've bandaged ourselves. We had a breather. The be- the best way I can describe hit points because I think it's a rather large misnomer in this is more your willpower to keep going. Because as cool. heroes, as your hit points go down, you don't get bad at being a hero. You just eventually get knocked out. So your willpower to continue to fight just stops. So yeah. that's yes. Um, so aid that was cast in the battles an eight hour duration. So everybody's yes. five overall full health points will st- still last. Yes. For a little while. Okay. 
Yes. And that hit Sweet. just like two or three of you, right? I hit uh, everybody who was in the building the first uh, rounds of combat. Got so it. not be and not Thaddeus. Mm. But yeah. So whenever you, you've done with that, essentially what, what happens is you wait an hour in the blood and guts of your victory. Um, yeah. So There's just say a you, front you room, isn't the, there? the eight there if you want to add that back to your hit points as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's there are rooms in the, the home, right? We just ha- we haven't had a chance to take a look at, at anything. Uh, once um, B's cleaned up, I, th- I think she wants to go into another room that's less uh, gored. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. I'll, um, I'll use the short rest then to uh, recover any of some of my uh, expended spells. Some of them anyway. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, okay. So I just add what I rolled to my hit points. Just to your hit, yeah, to your hit points, absolutely. Thank God. (laughs) Okay. Uh, yeah, so, (laughs) B, as you take a a look around here, where do you, you want to just go up into this this room up top here? Yeah. Just take a look, sure. We'll just open the door here, and inside you're like, oh, less gore, but no. No, no. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh, what is that? No. A pile of bodies. Ooh. Of all different shapes and <clears throat> sizes. Good lord. Uh, it is just, just in there. Oh, they just moved. <laughs> I, I just saw I move. I moved. <laughs> 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 I moved. <laughs> They're still moving. Oh, no. I imagine there's a stench that comes out of this room. Oh. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. As as okay, it is as, opened here, it is disgusting. As soon as I'm so sorry. As soon as Balrus smells it, she stands and walks over to see what's going on in the room. Oh no! Oh, I think B has like an audible reaction to this. Not her vibe. Mm, Not sure. her favorite thing. I think so. it was like a, a yelp, a scream, if you will. Yeah. And then a staggering back, and a polite shutting of the door. <laughs> oh, Balra, Balra probably pressed past you to go in the room. Yeah, <laughs> she's cool. like, oh, excuse, try not to touch you at the same time as she passes, though. Excuse me. I, I don't, I, what, she, she's an insane person walking up into that room willingly. Willingly. I'll, I'll peek in as well. Uh, and, uh, ooh. wait, do I move my character? You don't have to, but you can if you want to. Okay, I move. Yeah. Right, right there. Um, I'll, I'll, I think, I'll start I think saying like little. Too. Oh yeah, oh, chat can't yeah. see okay. it. Okay, mm-hmm. okay, guys, God. <laughs> oh, get ready, chat. It's na- it's nasty. It's, it's a pile. It's it a pile nasty. of body. Oh. It's beautiful. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tr- just say we'll it. It probably... looks like you took every Marvel superhero and just piled them nude on top of each other. <laughs> oh, that's where the Avengers went. Oh my oh. God. <laughs> In the darkest timeline. Anyways, uh, so uh, Jose will probably like see if there's any form of identification on them and start like lightly blessing them and saying prayers. Uh, and um, we'll ask Balra if she has anything she wants to research before I, you know, burn the bodies and purify them. Um, Balra kind of snickers at. <laughs> Your prayer and but is like I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> so I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, DM, would I find yes. anything on these bodies that would be of importance to us? Go ahead and roll me an investigation check. It is a pile of bodies, a bit hard to really like get in there and dig around. Um, but yeah. If you want to, go get yourself elbow deep in some bodies. I'm already disgusting, so like, you that, know. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, 15, we like that, that's good. Okay. Yeah, um, you find a shark's tooth, a flask of ale, some clockwork gears. Uh, not really any, like, ID. They don't really carry around driver's licenses. Okay. Um, so it's hard to tell who these people are. And, and nothing else of importance on them, just like little trinkets. Not in this particular room. Okay. <clears throat> so, okay. 
Did you want to burn them? them? On fire? Yes. You light them on fire. I would like to purify their souls. Ah, indeed. Yes. How could I ever have questioned you in any way? But yeah, we'll put a little we'll put a little fire action on there. <laughs> It's another fucking bonfire. <laughs> yeah, just, you know, <laughs> I light it on fire. Great. Um, so this is inside a wooden building. Uh, bodies are hard to burn without lots of fuel. <laughs> um, so it will eventually catch the house on fire and start to burn it down. Are you okay with that result? I, I let everyone know. <laughs> <laughs> Our time is now limited in here as smoke comes pouring out of the room. Mm. Are, uh, that's fine with me. You want us to get out? Easy. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just going to start moving towards the door. Okay. <laughs> the inchy. <laughs> <laughs> Did we search the other rooms? Nope. Nope. <laughs> I got no, 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 acts no, like her. Can, yeah, be, be, you can be kind of quick and, and dip into each of them, right? You're right. Yeah, I mean, it's not, like, it's not like sure. It's, it's more bodies, now. and there's that. more bodies. Can I? Uh, oh, oh, there's more bodies. Quickly search while I have time to see if oh, I yes. see any indications yes. of what is going on. Uh, here. Yeah, go ahead, uh, Pendulum. You can do one as well since you're coming over to this side. All right. Okay. Just go ahead and give me an investigations as B is uh, B lining it for the <laughs> front door here. God, I'm gonna use that way too much <laughs> right now. How did I do? I did well. Oh, you both did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You both did They're fantastically. Get... Joel, what the yes. fuck? What? Look at what? all this gross, nasty. Yeah. You I... bring us on a nasty, <laughs> magical adventure. Gross. I have brought you on a nasty, magical adventure. That is actually very true. Uh, yeah. So between the two of you here. Uh, Why is the bathtub to... full of blood? Why is the bathtub full of blood? You ask. Uh, yeah. So you you find again. <laughs> some trinkets uh, amongst these things, but what becomes most important is that the room that Pendulum is in, you find a chest, and inside of it, you find a sack, and it feels like it's full of metal coins. Hmm. I reach down to pick them up. Excellent, yeah. You pick up the sack. Uh, do you take a look inside? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it up. Mm-hmm. It looks to be roughly 200 or so coins. Stamped with one side with a mask-like symbol and the other with a triketra, surrounded by engraved words in celestial, which on our picture, I put them in English so you can read them, but they are in celestial. Not yeah. quite one of these. <laughs> Pretty close though. <gasps> I, I'm proficient in celestial. Indeed. I can also read it. All right, well, now I feel less bad. As of right now, Pendulum, you are the only one that has <laughs> that has access to this. Um, okay. okay. What, Thaddeus, you notice with your investigation is that there's something interesting about the bodies themselves. They do look like they've been beaten and tortured and somewhat torn apart, even some of them missing pieces of themselves that look like they've been eaten or bitten off. But things that you do notice are multiple <laughs> points. <laughs> Sorry, Beth. Uh, of <laughs> okay. Um, so content warning: needles, uh, needle marks on various oh. different parts of their skin. Am I able to tell if it was blood being drawn or something being injected? Uh, a medicine check, please. Yeah, it's not very good. A little but... bit closer. Yeah, uh, if if Balra's in there, Balra, are you still remaining inside the, the house? Uh, Balra's still back in the, the main room. Okay. Um, uh, also, I wanted to bring up the deck of mini card at some point. It's up to you. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes. Whatever you'd like. Whenever I I'd if like. If we were supposed to do that already or not, I'm scaled. I, go no, no, it's it, I got it in my head. Uh, so I, I, I get to know what, what I'm doing with it before I draw it. But additionally, Beth, you're getting one too, so hold on to your pants. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right, because she's, okay. he would have seen her doing some type of medical treatment. Yes. I exactly. did try to treat the Dresse all the way over here when she came out of, flew out of the tree. 
Over the uh, crackling of the fire, have we heard your name yet, Valra? Like, have you introduced your name to us? She to be in Pendulum, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, pardon me, Miss Balra. A moment of your time. Oh, oh, uh, she'll close her book and come in there. Yeah, uh, another. She kind of lights up when she sees another pile of bodies. Yes. She lights up. There's needle marks here. I'm trying to determine if this was injection or withdrawal. Are you <gasps> able to <clears> figure <throat> that <throat> out? And excitedly shuffles to investigate to see a medicine. Just yeah, roll me uh, medicine with the assistance of Thaddeus here at advantage. Sweet. She's kind of like muttering about it. Okay, with the trajectory. Okay, and then insert. Well, and, mm. okay. Um, you are relatively sure that something was being drawn and not injected. Hmm. Looks like some fluids are low in these veins, and um, I think it's it's definitely something has been pulled from them as opposed to inserted. Well, there, there goes my theory then. Very well, thank mm. you. You're welcome. And she's like also jotting notes at the same time. Just, oh, that's fascinating, too. It's <laughs> uh, <laughs> B, as you exit the building, where do you go? Ah. Uh, Away from the smoke? Right, right, right. That's building slowly. I'm giving it some time. Uh, there is a barn outside as well as all of the crops. Do you just wait outside the, the door here or do you go take a look around some things yourself? You know, I think I'm curious about the crops Okay. before the barn. Sure. Uh, yeah, so not necessarily as pictured here. The crops <clears throat> themselves would look like large corn stalks. Um... Yeah, and the corn themselves, like the corn pockets themselves, are much larger than you would expect. Well, I ain't gonna try to bite into one of them. Learn my lesson the hard way. Would you like to take I'm a closer look? I'm going to, yes, approach and inspect the, the big corn. <laughs> That's good. Uh, approach and inspect <laughs> the big corn. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, go ahead and just roll me a little in investigation here. You'll get a baseline knowledge, but we'll see oh. what else you happen to pick up. Yeah. 17. And you begin to peel the corn back apart, the ear here. And it squelches and oozes some. And then you see what seems to be the portions of a rather malformed face. <gasps> Okay, all right. I get the sense that maybe I gotta get used to this kind of bullshit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, y'all, I got an ugly corn baby out here. Thaddeus <laughs> <laughs> uh, will swiftly uh, make his way outside after hearing about ugly corn babies. I'll, yeah. I'll come outside too. Uh, where do I go? Oh, down here. Uh, Th I'm gonna I'm gonna hand the husk that I have to Thaddeus, and then take another one, another ear, and, and peel it back. Yeah, uh, this one seems to be in a uh, earlier state of construction. Uh, you see that there's like some malformed pieces of bone inside of it, and maybe oh. what could have been an eye, but uh, y'all yeah, are are. Those nasty things that we killed a little bit earlier, were they growing out here? It looks like it. Can I roll a Knowledge Arcana to see if this has anything to do with, like, constructed, um, or constructs in general, similar to our sure. compatriot? Yeah, I was going to say, your, your construct friend is inside the building right now, uh, hanging out doing whatever constructs do. But yeah, absolutely. Roll me a, a arcana for this. We'll see if it matches with any magic you might know. Cool. An 11. Um, this is definitely not the traditional constructs that you know of, right? Okay. Uh, it's not made of metal. It's not made of wood. Uh, you don't see any gears or, or magic powering it. And it's also being grown out of something. So I think most of the feeling that you're getting is that it is organic in some way and not necessarily a construct. Hmm. Just say, how about you go ahead and dig underneath that dirt there? I'm curious to see what's growing. What's growing? What this is growing out of. I'll do it, but not for you. And I'll 
dig with my hands. <laughs> Certainly looks like you're doing it for me. <laughs> Yeah, and you start digging downwards here. Uh, it gets a little muddy, a little dirty, until you find metal piping huh. underneath. Mm. Uh, looks like there's actually metal piping under these fields. <sighs> See, I ain't mm. part of the peasantry. Is that normal? Would I know anything? I don't think I would Just know. Just say, what do you know? This. Yeah, yeah, What do you know about think, farming? I don't think I know shit about farming. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, I, I, yeah, I'm not sure you, you, roll me a history check and we'll make it part of maybe okay. some piece of ab right. abstract knowledge you know. Uh, where would that? Yeah, history's on your skills. Oh, I found it. Mm -hmm. 16? 16, you're like, I mean, you remember the word irrigation? and how to like transport water to crops, but you don't know if that's what this is. It seems similar. Uh, I do believe I have a theory here. If we All could right, gather the others. That's what Thaddeus will call for the remaining yeah. group to. <laughs> As uh, some of our friends are still inside the building mm -hmm. where like the back bedroom is beginning to like really riotously burn. <laughs> yeah, I feel like at some point Balra's closed her book and like tugged on Pendulum like, you know, should we go? I was, I, w I was staring in the pool of blood. <laughs> did did yeah, you see anything that? in the what's pool of blood? blood? Just my reflection. Okay. okay. That's nice. <laughs> should we go? <laughs> uh, well, we probably should. The, the house is burning down. Starting to get warm. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go. If you want to come, what's yeah? Be I would love to. <laughs> okay. I like how we're all moving our tokens. Like, yeah, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. Normally, I just use these as representative like things, but like this is great. If you want to walk around, walk around. We're going. <laughs> we're here. I so made them for a them, reason, right? He sees them come out. So nice of you two to join us. Um, Miss Balra and myself did some inspection of the bodies inside, and she determined that that blood was being withdrawn from them. And or something, yeah, some fluid of some sort, true. Yes, exactly. And then he shows the corn baby to the two of them, and we just found this. I outside. just found this. Of course, pardon my presumption, Miss Perennial. You are pardoned. Mm-hmm. And, they are uh, extracting blood. <laughs> Pardon my they... uh, pronunciation, Drusai. Is that how we say it? Uh, Drusai. Drusai. Once again, I am humbled. She discovered some piping down here. I am willing to bet that if we open one of these up, we may find some of that withdrawn fluid from the bodies inside. I found that is a my bathtub full of blood. Oh, all right. I'm glad I got out of there. Pendulum, would you mind, uh, I feel you have the strongest hands out of all of us here. Would you mind tearing up one of these pipes just to, so we can investigate what's inside? I would like to try. Absolutely. Roll me an oh. athletics check to tear this thing up. Either that, <laughs> or if you've, if you've got your tinker's tools on you, and you mm -hmm. want to like actually get down there and like disconnect portions of the pipe, you could try that too. Mm. You know what? I, I would like to do that, I, I, yeah. actually. Mm. Uh, I just click on the do I just need to click on the tinkers tool yeah if, it, if it's not set up with um, so it'll be tinkers tools and it's either with your intelligence or with your dexterity depending on how you would like to do this here let's see what happens here uh, let's do yeah, let's do intelligence okay B's standing back she doesn't want to get sprayed again <laughs> Yeah, a little, little 12 action on this here. Uh, it's a, it's rather simple. It is literally just a series of pipes. You just get your like little wrench down there and undo mm -hmm. one of these portions. Um, and you pull it up. And yes, there does seem to be absolutely residual fluid inside. Ugh. It is this kind of milky metallic purple. Milky! Weird. Yeah. Hmm. Why milky? Seems we found the source. You would note, Pendulum, as you were down there, that yes, it does go along the rows of these corns here, but it does have somewhere that it originates from. Would I be able to, uh, like, I, I guess just kind of 
uh, based on just what we got right here, is, would I be able to follow that? See, uh, see if I could. Uh, Roll me another tinker, tinker brain check. All another right, tinker let's, brain. Let's see what we got here. Do, 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 do. Ooh. Nice, that's a nat 20. Yeah, absolutely you can. And with that, I would like everyone in, in our group here to roll me a d20. We have gotten another nat 20 to give out to the group with another 10 retweets of the go live tweet. Ooh, Thank you very much, Chad. Nice. I appreciate it. Very good. Thank you. Yep, so keep that in mind. Uh, remember <laughs> that you have the uh, the tracker there uh, available to you in your journals cast. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, Thaddeus, with the nat 1, you'll pick that bad boy up. Uh, you'll get yourself a nat 20 for this. All right. Nice. Uh, so now right on. here. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, yes. Perfect. Now, with your big old brain here, Pendulum, uh-huh, it's really easy mm -hmm. for you to follow how the piping is. It's absolutely in this kind of like lattice work underneath all of the corn here, and you're sure it is originating from the barn. Fuck. Oh, hmm. I knew it in my brain. Hmm. Well, this is quite auspicious. Would anyone like to go check the barn? I'll go. I mean, I'll I, accompany. I'm certainly curious. I do believe after the previous encounter, we should probably stick together a li yeah. little more strictly. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. You guys like closely and carefully inching. <laughs> Are we doing this now? Oh my god. Oh, it's great. It's so good. Oh. Wait, where is it? It's over there. Okay. It's on the left hand side here. Oh. Um, yeah, and and uh we'll go ahead and so I'm gonna wait, open it up. Wait, wait, Three hours yeah, so later. Let me leapfrog over here. I'm, I'm leapfrog so sorry, over. I thought that was an empty farm. Oh, went, so. oh. Oh no. my god. Oh. Oh, that's. Yes. That's Kill a thing. What is that? That is a lot of dead bodies. <laughs> Ball oh pushes god. in. Mm hmm. Okay. Move your token. Yeah, nice. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Move oh, your token. We're, 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 we're bumping in. We're bumping into each other. We're bumping. <laughs> Ball oh, what god. do you make of this? You have. Excellent medical acumen. Uh, nice, good thank, work. thank, thank you. Um, Balra is gonna do a. Uh, can I do a, a medicine investigation just to see if these all mimic the same sort of a cause of death, like look yeah, and feel absolutely. of the bodies inside? Okay. There gotta be about two hundred. 200 uh, yeah, bodies with, on with this Yeah, with an 11, you're, like, you're looking at it, and yes, you're, you're still noticing the track marks of, of needles, but mm -hmm. what's interesting to you is that, and I think it, 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 it originated from the, the ones inside, too, is like, it doesn't look like fluid has been drawn. It is, like, like blood. It doesn't look like blood's been pulled from mm -hmm. them. Like, the ones that still have their, their, like, their skin and their flesh, and they're still, like, bloated and full. They're not mm -hmm. drained of anything that you can tell, at mm -hmm. least from a medical standpoint. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And she's like regurgitating this information. Don't like say regurgitating. <laughs> I, choice of words. Um, yeah, it looks it's strange. These are more bloated than the ones inside. I wouldn't say that they're fresh, but um, I would say that the fluids are still here. They're still the needle points, which is very. She's like now touching them, pointing mm -hmm. at the in like raising arms and like legs to like show you guys these points of interest that she's talking about as she's discussing um this one here died looked like from a bludgeoning wound um maybe at the temple and then this one here um looks like deep cut to the um uh, he <laughs> is, going is willingly not listening and just looking <laughs> everywhere else can i roll a perception check to see like what else is in this room yeah absolutely besides the mound of bo obvious bodies yeah, and and for Balra, hey, yeah, six. You, What's up? As you spend more time around the bodies, that you see that their veins are kind of like dark, and you see mm. necrotized portions mm. of their their flesh there as well. Um, be looking around the room, it it's pretty clear to you. Tables with like manacles, stretchers, implements of general torture, and a notebook lying on the Ooh. stretching table. I you also see large syringes with hoses attached 
to a centralized chamber in the back. Ooh. I'm going to go to the notebook. Absolutely. Sure, you pick it up. I... Do you want to open it? Yeah, well, what is, is it to have a title? It's a rather basic leather-bound notebook. Looking on the outside of it here, it doesn't seem to have any real clear markings, though you do see old bloodstains marking the edges of the pages as well as the cover itself. I open it. You open it. There are some of notes that stand out to you here. It seems that patients under great duress during what they're calling extraction appear to create more feed. Bringing the patient to the brink of second death while immense pain shows the most promising results. There's notes here to inform Gadarian, and it may be useful at other farms. The resulting growth of these unwilling when melded with the Aether is disappointing. And there's notes in the margins about effectiveness being similar to Cecilius's puppets, though Gadarian apparently may have need of the fodder itself. There's notes on updating the growth cycle or finding additional material to improve Aether assimilation. I share this information with the group. Mm -hmm. And you guys, of... it should all be in your journals as well for to, to look at later. Have I heard of any of these phrases or terms before? Most notably, Second Death, Cecilius, and Aether assimilation. Sure. Um... One of these is history, and the others are arcana, so take your pick. We'll go with arcana this time. Okay. I'll take nice. it. Nice. A little, <laughs> little 17 action here. Um, Aether clearly has magical connotations to it, a, a type of energy. And maybe there were some books back where you're from that you read that has re have references kind of vaguely to this, uh, specifically in... Necromancy. Hmm. That being said, second death seems a little odd. You're not super sure that's been referenced in anything magical that you've read. Would Balra know anything about second death? Do you want to roll, like, medicine for it? Yes, I do. Okay. I do. Um, hmm. 24. Nice. Uh, yeah. And fortunately for you, due to your patron god that you follow, this is something that you kind of know about. There are texts um, that would tell you that it is entirely possible for someone who has entered the afterlife to then die again and enter the void, where their soul will be lost and they will never be reborn again. Yeah. Uh... She, Balru will like excitedly kind of shuffle over to B and without touching B, be like, may, may I, may I, uh, may I see that? I hand it over. And she's just like trying to see if she can ascertain any other uh, information about just the second death part of this from this, probably not, but excitedly reading. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's basically it matches up with like references to it. So mm -hmm. what you gathered, the 24 is, is really nice here is that in some way they were looking at causing a, a second death amongst these and you look like the the bodies here so in your brain that means they probably would have had to have died already mm -hmm. at least once um do you have no known medical record in your knowledge about that happening on the prime material plane Bar is going to explain this to everybody that she's never she's heard of this happening, but it's never I've never seen it. But um, people die once, uh, and then if they can be managed to you know, and then second death, and then this void, it's it, I and she's just like stuttering and excitedly talking through this whole like death scenario. Now just a moment here. Second death does. Are we speaking of those rare circumstances where we bring someone back from the afterlife and they die again? Or are you speaking of some other occurrence? Uh, not about not resurrection. Like, 
not resurrection, not really, um, uh, not, I think, traditional form of, like, necromancy type either, just more of a, like, a, another plane. Yeah, it's Death more of a, the a, a, a theolo- exactly, it's a theological argument that Balra would know about mm -hmm. this kind of thing. And Pendulum, for what you know about the, the, in your theological text here, Balra, what Pendulum has said, nail mm -hmm. on the head. That's what it means. Yes, 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 yes. Mm. All right, Pan. The question that's been bumbling around inside of my head is that why would that shopkeep over at the Duck Inn, why would he send us here with food to help the impoverished? I, if I had to take a wild stab at it, I would assume that he was setting us up as bait. Um, uh, maybe oh, my. possibly sending us here to be added to this wonderfully nice stack of dead bodies that lay next to us. Does he know who I am? There is at least a 12% chance that he does. Bet 12% not high enough for me. Bait! Oh, that is just a one of my many uh, educated guesses on the matter, considering everything we just experienced. You know, I think we have a bone to pick with this Gadarian. As a fellow noble and leader of a whole area, I don't think that what he's doing is particularly productive for the community. Or for us, for that matter. Now that you bring up the end, did... Okay, aside from our clear um, collective dream about ducks, let's not talk about that ever again. Um, the In the end, did you guys experience anything in there? I swear I saw something with the duck on the wall at one point before you guys came over. It's like eyes glowed and it was demonic feeling in nature. I didn't... I, it kind of stood out to me. You know, funny you say that. I swear I saw the window shatter, then nothing happened. I saw the something barkeep very flashed. similar. Yeah. The the barkeep flashed as a skull. A character I, just with a skull. But I, I, also I have this. not had any kind of experience such as that here. Same. But, so... When I saw the barkeep flash for a moment in this other form, couldn't that be something like how these, this family was posing as humans and then suddenly turned into their other form? That may be a connection there. I do have some mm. theories. Uh, Mr. DM, mm -hmm. Thaddeus has theories, but I don't know how far I'm allowed to push this without a roll. <laughs> <laughs> you are allowed to push as far as you would like, sir. <sighs> Based on my investigation of that orchard that damn near harmed Miss Perennial, the experiences y'all are describing in that dingy hole in the wall we were in earlier, and now here, and Miss Balra's findings from this notebook, I do not believe we are where we used to be any longer. We cannot remember how we got here, Everything we encounter is rather strange, and frankly, I don't feel like this is, if this is real, then it is not where our home is, or even our plane of existence. See, are you saying this out loud, or are you asking He's Joel? saying all of that out loud. Balra is nodding and, and mutters, if she can, something about the sun. I mean, I, I tried to tell you on the way, the sun was weird, the light, daylight is weird here, something is different, and I'm... The I would agree. And we the were only ducks. Thing... <laughs> I don't even know how I got to that inn I met you guys at. I mean, I... I don't... I don't remember. How... Joel, this goes back to the origin of my character. Mm -hmm. Would he recognize what he's lost? Recognize what you've lost. Yeah. Because you and I know why he's here. Mm -hmm. um, roll me a wisdom saving throw. Understood. 
Got an 18. Yep. Ooh. You, it like half. It's still a little fuzzy, but you, this is this is where you start to realize it. There have been more things taken from us than we may have originally thought. Miss Perennial, do you remember any of my uh, extracurriculars in my time in in Clementine? Oh, uh, do I? That's a decision that that like if you guys had made it. So he he would have been deep into research all the time whenever okay. he had a spare moment. Um, so it wouldn't have been a secret, but be. the the content of it probably wasn't. Yeah, I wouldn't. Open I wouldn't knowledge. be bothered with the content. So for you, trying to think back, this is this is like this is a good triggering point for you, right? Uh, yeah. Roll me a wisdom saving throw with advantage due to Thaddeus's help. Twelve. Twelve. It's faint, but you remember. Yeah, Thaddeus was always. Nose deep in something. You know, yes, but also no. It's not quite as clear as I'd like it to be. I'm afraid I must admit to the same experience. The only thing I feel like I can count on right now is that the five of us are having this experience together. So I'd certainly appreciate it if we stuck together. I think this is wise. Would you like to go back to visit this barkeep that led us astray? And just say kind of flares up a little bit, like her hair lights up a little bit more, you see more flames come off. Because what is happening here is not right, and he deserves to be brought to justice. Yeah, well, Thaddeus will tighten his gloves. Nothing would give me more pleasure. I mean, clearly oh, he's kill plenty, plenty of people, or whatever here. Well, he'll certainly remember me after we have a conversation with him. Now, those are times I do recall. Uh, you know when, you, when you're playing a JRPG and you talk to every single party member and they have a sentence about what happened that's like disjointed from the actual <laughs> conversation? <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. Oh, oh. God. Oh, so perfect. Freaking uh, love you guys. DM, I would like yes. to look at the little pentagram thingy that's on the ground. Sure. How do you, what do you take thinking the same? <laughs> yeah, because there is a cross it. on there too. Um, I don't know what I would roll for, but could I just yeah, look sure, for anything weird? Like, would I, would I recognize uh, anything based on my, you know, devout? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Your divine nature. Uh, yes. Probably like a religion check. Why not? Religion. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sixteen. Uh huh. It's like. Huh, yes, mm, yes, pentagrams, yes. Uh, yes, it has religious connotations here, but I think in the usage in the barn, it is a little unclear as to what or why, or if it was just for fun. There doesn't seem to be any, like, you're not sensing any magical connection to anything from the usage of it here. And remembering the state of some of those bodies in the house, there may just be whoever was here, these creatures or these people or whatever, may just have a real penchant for utilizing blood. Yeah. There's a, uh, there's a, a, a torture device in the back corner you <clears throat> described earlier. Yeah, there's or, uh, multiple. Like... <laughs> the one you're currently standing next to and in the one up here, the thing in the back is a, some kind of metallic tank of some sort. That's what I'm curious about. Mm -hmm. I want to go check it. Absolutely. I will come with you. Yeah. Okay, we're all moving. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whee! Just go. It's all good. Again, the map is more um, representative me, me, than Thaddeus, anything else. Excuse me. Yeah. Going around. Um, yeah. So, what do you, uh, Pen? What do you want to do with it? Um, I guess I want to. I want to kind of just investigate, just to see exactly um, mm -hmm. if I can, you know, figure out what this is a receptacle for. If I want, sure. I want to see if it's connected to what we found earlier. Yeah. Uh huh. 
big brain me something here. All right, so here, let's, uh, was, uh, give me, oh, was it an investigation? Investigation. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's, uh, can we get a... Can we help? Can we all work together with our special You would all work together. Yeah, all your specialized. So everyone roll me investigation. And remember, some of you have nat 20s, and remember, you can only keep them for this game. I'm keeping well, it for not now. not that one. Um, yeah, B, yeah. I didn't Doing real good. It's good. Why? Sorry, I did clicked one. It's sorry, medicine. No, have fun. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Brain blast. Exactly, chat. It's perfect. Um, <laughs> working together, you feel, you figure it out relatively easily. Um, underneath this particular tank, you see multiple lines of that metallic kind of copperish tubing that enters the ground. Uh, Pen, you figure out that this is a pressurized container of some kind, which means it would force fluid through those tubes to wherever their destinations are. Holding the tubing that you took up out of the ground, it all matches. Okay. Now, uh, taking in something to say, you see around the edge of what seems to be a lid up on top of this here is that same milky white purple metallic fluid dripping from a probably poorly closed lid at this point. Hmm. Think it's flammable? I, I just say lights her hand. Get, can lights I get, a fireball. Can I get some first? I'm sorry. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, is, actually, How high is it to get up there to collect some of this <laughs> fluid? Oh, not too high. Solid. I was going to say, <laughs> Balra, uh, oh, you that's have a card. Big. Okay. As you go to collect Please the fluid, coins. you feel a <clears throat> distinct need to dip your scalpel <gasps> into it. Yes. She does. You've drawn the key card. <gasps> your scalpel, you watch as it absorbs or drinks of the fluid itself changes in sheen to a more purplish color. And then you feel satisfaction <laughs> from the blade. Your scalpel is now a plus two weapon. Whoa. Yay. Dang. Thank you. Thank you, whoever did the deck of many. Don't forget, you can <laughs> totally change the fate of this campaign by doing exclamation point fate, and then things will happen. It's there. There you go. <laughs> nice. Good plug. Good plug. Uh, that was from Godfather Ray. Thank you, Godfather. Uh, Balrog now has a plus two scalpel. Sweet. Oh, yeah. you got it. Thank you for adjusting that for me. I got I appreciate you. you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Magic bonus. Uh, she will kind of like excitedly investigate her weapon, but then dip in, and if there's anything left, she'll collect it in one of her Yeah, like vials. a little vial. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it, I mean, is the liquid similar to any sort of viscousy bodily fluid that she would know? No. Okay. Entirely not. And it more so resembles some, like, potions like you've seen before. Yeah. Okay. Um... Huh potions and tinctures you may have seen in your like in your time but otherwise it, it does not resemble any bodily fluid you know of she's going to um like sheath her sky her scalpel excuse me and um head back down and go over to thaddeus because she saw him put up the um called the cauldron correct in our last fight um and ask him if it's anything that he's seen before liquid <clears throat> um he'll move closer put on his yeah. monocle and um that is what are your... without touching it yeah what is your <laughs> uh relationship with like um <clears throat> potion making or alchemy um i think it probably would have been part of that research he was doing because he would have okay. explored all avenues so yes, yeah yeah, yeah, be yeah familiar yeah. okay um so looking at it with that lens rolling an arcana all right do i use it do mm. hey if you don't use it you lose it it's true yeah but the sun's still up <laughs> also true all right i'm gonna save it this time okay here we go 
That's a, that's a nine. Um, you're like, you know, you've seen some potions that have this kind of like metallic quality to them, but it doesn't resemble any that you you've seen before. Um, you would know that a lot of alchemical things, when distilled down, need carriers. So this may be a mixture of different fluids. Alchemical in nature, but the substance is unknown to me. It may be some kind of catalyst of carry fluid. She's just Bee- like at, like listening and writing as you explain, sir. Bee's putting it together after reading the journal and looking at all of the torture devices and the singularly dead bodies and perhaps the double dead bodies. I, I, I think this is the feed. I think this is the feed. Remember in the journal, patients under great duress during extraction appear to create more feed. Ready for this? They got needle points in them. <laughs> Something been sucked out. Press two and chat for suck. <laughs> and <laughs> those corn babies, those corn babies been feeding off of this here mercury liquid. I'm pretty sure that that sucks coming out of them bodies when they're under great duress being put in this here, this here carrier piping underground crate and corn babies. Why ain't y'all hooting and hollering? I just said something <laughs> great. <laughs> but what would they want these? And, and it, Assuming that these corn babies are part of this army or this uh, the fodder that that yeah I, that the king wanted, he wants soldiers. He's looking to create himself some Gumby soldiers. Perhaps you should use your fiery talents to expand beyond the house. Oh, with pleasure. They were gonna make us into them. Can't, can't, I'll, I'll have everyone scoop back though, just in case this explodes. I would, DM, I would like to throw a fireball at this tank. <laughs> <laughs> How far would we have to step back? I would like to step back there. Well, are you worried about it blowing up? Yes. I mean, those bodies inside blew up. Yes. They well, if you could, if you take a look inside the house now, you'll note that the fire has been spreading the entire time. I saw time. that. <laughs> wait, yeah, that was uh, uh, wait, so I, I can't see that. Oh, wow. Hold on, can Joel. I look? I, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the house here is uh pretty clearly burning down at this point. Um. Question. Yes. If I throw a fireball at that, well, and if the liquid is flammable, will it, by, theor- in theory also light the fields on fire because of uh, the irrigation system. Will it travel through the now, pipes and burn everything? your brain thinks about that. Is Drissé's brain thinking about that? Yes, because okay. she... Yes. Uh, roll me an intelligence check. God damn it. Mm-hmm. Uh, 15. Could. Very well could. Depends on how much fluid is inside those pipes. Jose has probably lit something flammably liquid on fire before mm. in her existence. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and then you, uh, you realize that a lot of flammable liquids also have flammable gaseous forms. And if there's a lot of flammable are you gas me I shouldn't? around. Oh, I'm not telling you anything. I'm telling you, your brain has these two things in it. I lean over and whisper my worries to Thaddeus. Thaddeus is way at the gate. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> this field's about to blow up. I'm out. Do you think this course of action might be dangerous to our health? It possibly could. I am not entirely sure about what this liquid uh, could do. Any way you could set up some kind of system so we can do this at a distance? I'd rather this not exist anymore. Oh, I have an idea, actually. Love so me. I would like to—I this... would like to move them to the road. Sure. Is this and conversation I... loud enough, or was it just whispers between you two? I'm so sorry. Oh, uh, probably like under our breath. But I will ask all you guys to move to the road, which is significantly far <clears throat> enough away, I think. Uh, and I would like to drag some bodies, um, maybe across halfway across 
to the road so that I can light the bodies on fire and, you know, they can lead to the tank and explode a it that way. Body wick. Wow. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What the fuck, dude? I mean, the, the bodies are flammable. It works, right? I'm not helping. <laughs> yeah, all right. Dope. Let's do it. <laughs> I'll help light we, up the bodies. We have seen Pendulum <laughs> throw things with great speed. So. Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's... Let's do it. Yeah. So you take the time to is helping. <laughs> create a what you think would be a, a lightable body wick to where hopefully this fluid is flammable in nature at the, the tank itself, correct? Do you like spill some of the fluid around it too to like to ha to maybe uh, have it catch I, I in light? I dunk a body in it and then I put it <laughs> Oh, Pen, what are you doing? You're I'm holding not a that... whole body. I'm not touching that liquid by, by with my bare hands. You're like, how, how? You're strong. That's like you're picking it up and just dunking a body oh. into the. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh. I'm yeah, and and I'm gonna help. Big strong. You're helping. Okay. All right. While this is happening, I just want to say, like, Bee's gone back to the cornfield, and she's just like systematically peeling ears of corn and facing the disgusting visages of half corn <laughs> corn babies yeah. as like a way to try to train herself Bee, to get oh, become okay with seeing shit some like of this. them move. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they like uh, <laughs> throw them to the fire. <laughs> throw them to the fire. Yeah, every. <laughs> I, I just yeet him at the house that's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> just tossing baby-sized ears of corn at the burning house where the ones that are living pop and squeal <gasps> and scream. Balra furiously takes notes. <laughs> uh, so wait, have I lit this thing on fire? Is 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 the tank on fire well, now? Uh, no, we're still getting there. I don't I don't we're think B wants to be close enough to the house. No, 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 no. Okay, so as is... as the ones that are alive scream, I would like to hit them with fireballs so they kind of explode like little popcorn kernels. <laughs> but, yeah, they're doing it. They're absolutely doing it. Because they are uh, cursed creatures born of darkness, and Drusay does not stand for that. So, <laughs> the bodies are aligned. Um, mm. please, Drusse, light the the dead body wick. If we're all standing, kind of watching her, Balra would like to say something about the fact that, like, if somebody's trying to raise an army and this is to be their army, us burning them down will definitely get their attention. God. Are you? Yeah, I'm like, absolutely. Yes, I'm down right. with this. I'm just. Saying. I want to know who's behind all this. It will be a strong message to send. Okay. Okay. And I throw the fireball. <laughs> Can we watch the fire? <laughs> and for a moment, there's nothing that happens. Aww. And then the fields explode. Aw, oh, nice, dude. <laughs> yes! <laughs> the barn itself all... goes up in entire flames. It seems that this was just the top of the storage container and there was more underneath as both the house and the barn and most of the farm sink into an underground con construction of where all of this was happening. Yo. I can't tell if Joel hates me or loves me right now. That's beautiful. I love it. Uh, Thaddeus will be a cool guy walking away from explosion and head okay. towards the uh, duck in. Dude, same. Uh, uh, <laughs> he's going to take her like a royal cape and f flip it <laughs> and walk behind Thaddeus. Mm -hmm. And do have sunglasses just like going on as you. Right. Yeah. And you walk away from the fire. As you do so, and we'll get there in, in just a moment, uh, I suppose. Uh, B, sweet B. You've also drawn a card. <laughs> okay. It's from the deck good. of many. Y'all, this has happened three times, and so far every time it's been good. Uh-oh. We It's not always good, right? As our camera looks back at the mess the mass, the morass of destruction created by our party. 
and we catch the glint of something kind of wet and slick. And then we see an eyeball roll around in a jelly-like head. And one begins to crawl from the burning fire. You can hear the screams of their brothers and sisters in the fire and explosion around them. You've drawn the rogue card. An NPC somewhere on this plane of existence now only wants vengeance against you. Oh, hell. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. Why can't I have a nice key? Because you said (laughs) something about it. Jinxed that it. being said, as our heroes walk away from the explosion, we'll take our first break. We are halfway through today's Already? session. Oh my god. And when we come back, we'll be heading back to Andre's Duck Inn, where you have to, have to duck, duck, duck get in. To, to get in. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> hey y'all, Joel here. Just want to talk to you about the Diefall Patreon, and more specifically, a game that you can participate in. As a patron of the Shard of Discord tier, you are eligible to create a character to take part in an interactive game with your fellow supporters that can and will change the story, world, and interactions within the three ruined shows. You and the other supporters will be occupying a bastion of instability, a gateway to the other planes and realms in which the cast members of Lapis, Crimson, and Auric will be adventuring. It is your job to ensure the gateway remains open and operable. This is done through handling a crisis every other week, building defenses, constructing weapons, undergoing training, or bringing the fight to the enemies amongst the many planes. You will also be able to make and find items to assist the player's efforts. You and others will plan your course of action for every month, whether to build, fight, forge, defend, etc each option ranging in difficulty and effect on the world around you. In the event of a crisis, characters will be chosen or volunteer to take that crisis on during a monthly live stream, where players will roll for their successes and failures. All planning and rolling will happen in the Discord server and patron-specific channels, which players will be given access to after joining the Shard of Discord on patreon.com slash diefall. The link is obviously in the description below. You'll also get the rules document and the instructions on character creation. Will you be the scout that finds the supplies necessary to survive, the builder that expands the shard's capabilities, the warrior that defends the portal, or even the chef that ensures everyone is fed. You can support us, play a game, and affect the adventure all at the same time. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. I'll be there, as I always am. Thank you all for your support and patronage. And please do continue to enjoy all of the Dungeons & Dragons content, because there is always more. Bye. You're gonna turn it around and there's a knife in the back, or it's well, got like bloody eyes. Or... I mean, You're live, by the way. Bones. I just want everyone to see the, the money. Now. Bones. Oh, but you wanna see something else? Sure. Maybe? It has a mini bunny. Oh, I dropped a bunny. bunny. It's yeah, a bunny I dropped the bunny, bunny baby. Did it but just yeah. poop out a bunny? On the back of the neck, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I knew there was gonna be something. Something, <laughs> something about it. Yeah. Wait, I so is that, that bunny twist. driving a bigger bunny? Uh, yeah, it's it's, been, it's like a bunny kaiju. <laughs> or like, you know, like the, the okay. bunny gu- sure. to Gundam. Sure. Anyways, yeah. Beth, you gave I've that wine myself... a, Yeah, I was gonna say, you gave it a look like it offended you. It, I've poured myself a glass of wine, and this is wine that we have had open for a minute, but it's it had a cap, so uh, I had a sip, and I thought, okay, this might be bad, but it's all right. I think this might be one day away from you can't drink this wine anymore. Got you know it. what I mean? Got it. It's on, yeah. the, it's on the cusp of too uh-huh. sour. Too sour. Okay. Well, do you need to go switch it out? We'll wait for you. I have you no other options, okay? Joel. I have to settle for Here this. Here we are. All right. We are <laughs> settling, much like a lot of us do in our lives. All right. Well, let's continue onwards back you into. You want to talk about it? Oh, <laughs> what was that? Wow. <laughs> As you we okay, continue... buddy? Back uh, from <laughs> our, our mid commercial break, the camera going below the, the clouds here finding large plumes of black smoke on the horizon where the farm had been burned and exploded, we find our party members making their way back to Andre's Duck Inn, I guess. So, the walk itself is probably not 
overly long, not overly taxing. Um, but you are beginning to, to notice something here. And, and what I would like is just for the group to roll me nature checks. Just roll me some nature Ooh. checks. You got it. Rolling. Not good. That's a good one, B. Oh, B, knows, B knows a lot about nature. Looks good. Uh, B with a one, Pendle with a 13, Drissé mm -hmm. with a five, Thaddeus with a 19, and Balra with a 15. Yeah, Thaddeus and Balra, you're coming around back to the conclusion that, remember that thing about the sun being weird? Yes. Yeah, it's still weird in that it has mm. not moved. Oh. And how and many hours are not... have elapsed? Approximately. Thaddeus, you have a big old brain. Yeah. Roll me an intelligence check. Okay. Also, Pendulum, you are literally a piece of clockwork machinery. Mm hmm Roll me anything you want at advantage. Wild. Oh. That's badass. Wow. Like, 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 just, just. just whatever just, you think is going to get you the highest number. Oh, wow. Uh... Maybe if you had an at 20 chat, exclamation point. <laughs> <laughs> Fate, got it, nailed it. A 24. <laughs> Thaddeus, you're like, okay, walking there, three hours, time at the farm, two-ish hours, time back now, two-ish hours-ish, and like, maybe you're saying this to yourself or whatever, but Pendulum, Pendulum, you know exactly how many hours it has been. <laughs> you literally can count the amount of rotations on your clockwork machinery to know how much time has gone by. That is cool. Um, yeah, you would know that roughly six and a half hours have passed since you left Andre's Duck Inn, and uh, Thaddeus looking around. That sun has not moved <clears throat> from its mm. like late afternoon position. Did you all happen to notice auspicious. that? He points I at did. the sun. Now it's the daytime, Thaddeus. What are you trying to test me? Now, Miss Perennial, <laughs> dive deep. <laughs> into your problem-solving <laughs> strategies here. Where was the sun when we left this tavern? It was in the sky, you fool. That, that is correct. Oh, God. Would anyone else like to try? <laughs> well, that is a very astute observation that Miss Perennial has uh, come up with. However, one thing she forgot to mention, and it has been about exactly six and a half hours since we last saw the sun in the exact same position. That is correct. Oh. Huh. <clears throat> I can't do anything about the sky, Finn. I almost said Finn. <laughs> 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 I bet he can't do anything about it either. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, I would still like to have a word with this barkeep. At the duck in? Or you have to duck to get in, yes. Okay. <laughs> um, and you continue <laughs> onwards. Is there anything that you guys would like to do prior to your arrival uh, back into town here? Does anyone remember the name of the town? Oh. 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 <laughs> it was in Minnesota. <clears throat> Bread Bread Bettle. Bread Bettle. Yeah. That's There's good. one one thing I would like to do. What would you like to do, Thaddeus? Perhaps I should have taken this precaution earlier. And he will take the uh the moment to adorn himself with magical armor and cast mm. mage armor. Yep. Good plan. Good plan. Yeah. What uh, do, what is what does your mage armor look like when you cast it? <clears throat> it would look familiar to Pendulum. It almost looks like a bunch of gears are interlocking themselves, transparent, uh, but colorful and blues and gold um, yeah. to look like a breastplate made out of magical gears. Dressé is fascinated and would ask your permission to like throw little, like, little tiny bits of fire at it just to see how it reacts to it. Start throwing sparks at Thaddeus. Just, just little, just little ones. Mm -hmm. 
Perhaps we could um, experiment at another time. We may be going into enemy territory here. I would okay. be happy to oblige later. That is fair enough. And she just keeps eyeing it, like, the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Anything else before you arrive back at Breadbettle? Okay. Breadbettle is pretty much exactly how you left it. Okay. There are people outside, um, people doing work, enjoying the day. Uh, Breadbettle is a, is a quiet, quiet little town. Uh, and there are like children running on the green, people putting up their, their clothing on lines. Um, and it just has this rather peaceful, calming feeling. I need everyone to roll me a wisdom saving throw. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, bollocks. Remember, if you have a net 20, you can use it. Uh, sorry. <laughs> B. Oh, Finn and Stella are the only ones with nat 20s. I have a natural one. <laughs> Nat oh. That is a oh. lot of natural okay. ones. I gotta beat a lot. <laughs> okay. I'm uh, sorry. I'm waiting. Everyone who rolled under a 12, you feel this sense of calm wash over you and you begin to wonder what you're doing here <laughs> hmm. damn it i was going somewhere I don't remember is, why is there uh, can be look around is there a nice cafe like an upscale cafe <laughs> or inn like Bread Battle bitch. is a rather small place. Um, What's the nicest establishment in Bread Battle? The Battle? nicest establishment. God, I'm going to hate saying Andre's Duck Inn, um, but it is the only in. establishment in Bread wow. Battle. Wow. So, Damn. Uh, yeah, as you look around Bread Battle here, uh, you can see the, the mayor's house, which seems to double as their town hall, but don't, you know... Don't tell the mayor about it. He's rather proud of it being the town hall. Uh, there's an apothecary that seems rather nice. Lots of plants and things about. Uh, a one-room schoolhouse. A couple of areas uh, devoted for for worship, but they don't seem to have any like temple-like structures. Uh, there's a general store and blacksmith combo, and the tavern. Andre's duck in. Where do you have to duck to get in? Stop it. I love it. So much. <laughs> Our, uh, I mean, there's I'm no place here that B in. wants to hang out. Uh, no. You just feel uncomfortable, and for you, it's like you're like, no, really. That was a natural one on that wisdom save. Dude, you're like, what am I doing Wh here? Why would I be here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just gonna stand in the middle of the town square, uh, lost. Yeah, Thaddeus would look rather bemused at this point. A couple of children come dancing up to where B is, ribbons trailing behind oh them God. here, and they go, they start dancing around B, singing some kind of song about springtime and uh, the winter witch who was trying to take it away, and then they go dancing away. They could use lessons. I say that they were not is. fortunate enough to have the same upbringing as you. It's not about fortune, Thaddeus. We are born and we die. And some of us are just bitter. So who, who all is affected by this? It's I'm, I missed what the save was. Thaddeus. Yeah. It's everyone except for Balra and me, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you're seeing them just like, they walked out into the middle of the village green where like people are hanging up their washing, children are dancing about with toys and things, and they're just standing there talking. The fire has gone out of our eyes. I will walk back over to Thaddeus and uh, poke his shoulder 
and be and say, "Have you forgotten why you put this mage armor on?" He'll look at. Interesting. <laughs> yes. Sorry, I, I, I'm job, really bad with names. I wanted to say Drusai again. And he'll look at his mage armor. Does he know? Does he remember? Look at. As of right now, you're looking down, you're like, no, but you wouldn't have put it on for no reason. What? So he doesn't remember how. What are his emotions like? Yeah, so what you. You don't remember your purpose for arriving in Bread Bethel. Okay. You remember the things before. Okay. But, like, the, the problem is it's all very muted. You have this overwhelming yeah. sense of calm. Like this overwhelming sense of just existing, enjoying the beauty of bread battle and its calming nature and the children that are dancing and the, all of that. And it's just, it's suppressing a lot of that initial emotion that you had coming in. Mm. Well, this is rather peculiar. I do remember a rather explosive encounters, but everything seems fine. Everything is not fine. And Drissay will show him a fireball again. Do you not remember that we came here to talk to the barkeep, who obviously sent us on a suicide mission? He remembers that, right? Yeah. It's sitting, it's like, it's there. It's in your head. You're like, yeah. Yeah, Can you that's, lean on that emotion? That's what we're trying to do. Um, yeah, so what, what I would like you to do is, again, roll me another wisdom save, and you're trying to hang on to the feeling that you had when you were arriving here, right? This sense of urgency, this, uh, you know, this need to go to the barkeep, find out what's happening. It, all of it feels so far away, out of reach. Okay, wisdom save will be a 24 with that natural 20. There you go. Yeah, and Thank you get you, it, Jack. and you feel it. Focusing on the flame in front of you here, you're able to shut out everything around you and refine your center. And you remember. You remember that feeling you have, too, about the barkeeper, about this potential betrayal, about what you're supposed to be doing here. He's going to evoke that carefully restrained rage and try and get through to B. <laughs> Meanwhile, pendulum. B's like, Hey, Pan, how much can you lift? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> oh, that's a good question. <laughs> Miss, Miss Perennial. Oh, yeah, Thaddy. As much as I would like to s sit around here and pontificate about our lessers, try to remember. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> lessers. This, this is funny. You got me. Okay, sorry. Try, try to remember that these people have slighted us and they have answers we need within that dingy establishment over there. I'll call out. And remember that the barkeep didn't even know who you were. <gasps> Wisdom saving throw. <laughs> 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 hmm. Oh it's my an god. Eight. B, it's it's an eight. Eight. B, you feel like you should be incensed that this person does not know who you are. And then you feel this wave of like cooling calm over you. And you're like, but is it really that important? Mm-hmm. Pen, I'm 180. Do you think you can put me up on your shoulders? Dim. Why, I'm most certain that I could with little <laughs> to no effort. Yes, Balra? Are we in a, we're in a crowd? Ish. No, I, uh, Bread Bedel is a small town. You're not necessarily in a crowd. You're like amongst the hanging lines of wash clothing on the green. It seems to be laundry day. Are there people within 60 feet of me? Probably, but not many. Would my eyes of the grave recognize the sense of any of them actually being undead? Ooh. 
Man, that's Interesting. good. Oh, oh. Like, that's super good. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, post that specifically. I want to see sure. exact wording on that. As B and Pendulum consider Pendulum putting B on his shoulder. I've done so. I, oh. I, 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 <laughs> oh. oh, all right. Wow. Oh, total calm. Having a great time. Don't even have to walk. 10 out of 10. <laughs> okay. Um. Any undead? Damn, huh. Balra. I, I think, Balra, you've had this sense before, and you've you know probably mm. run into skeletons and zombies and traditional undead in your line of work before, I think the sense you get really surprises you. They're, it's not undead. It's just dead. There's no magical necromancy at work. You're specifically looking at this middle-aged woman in an apron mm -hmm. hanging some wash. She's got her hair tied up back and these children are playing around her and the feeling you get when you look at them is not undead, not zombie, not that. It's they're just they're just, just dead. dead. Mm. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> She's gonna attempt to ask this woman any a question. Um, she'll be like, "Excuse me, ma'am. Um, what 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 time of what time of day is it?" Hi, dearie. Oh, it looks to be late afternoon. Thank, thank you. Oh, of course. And she goes back, and you like they—they they see it to have this like glazed look in their eye when they're addressing you. Like they don't really see you there. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Balra's gonna shuffle to Dressé and be like. I I don't get the sense that these people are, are like us. What do you mean? Have you <laughs> talked to any of them? Obviously. Just like crap. <laughs> just up in the air. <laughs> just towering over everyone. <laughs> the children have come back, by the way, since they're like they're all playing around the pendulum with B on shoulder. Um, you know, they're like ring around the rosying you mm -hmm. while you're in the center. I'm amused. <laughs> yes, my subjects dance for me. <laughs> Balra's gonna um, look at Dressay and be like, I... They don't feel alive? Do you get that feeling? Like, have you... They don't feel... Like, to have a conversation with them, they don't react the same way that you or I would to each other. It's almost robotic. Are you trying to say they're dead? They feel, they're giving me this feeling as if somebody who was dead was standing right in front of me. How, how do I feel to you? How do we feel? Alive. 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 Hmm. Hmm. Well, I would like to talk to this barkeep, but we have two people here who are unfortunately uh, displaced, it seems. I found my place. <laughs> Do um, you remember you... biting into that apple and it turned your mouth black? Don't you want to of talk to the barkeep who let us down I remember that path? everything that happened to me. But, you know, right now, taking a gander out on those what do i see by the way yeah i mean you see the small now that you're this high up you can basically yeah. see in and out of town you see sheep being rounded up you see an orchard over on the like the eastern side of town you see people going in and out of andre's duck in ducking in and ducking out um you see that there might be a meeting at the the uh the mayor's house soon as well. There seems to be people gathering there. Um, and then you see the road that you came on from behind you, leading out through one of those orchards, and you see the dark clouds of smoke hanging in the air, where you remember distinctly Trisse blowing up the entire place. <clears throat> There's gotta be a reason why we did that. 
Do you remember holding and peeling back the husk of a corn and looking at its ugly face as it stared back at you while it writhed in your hands? The corn baby! Do you cool. remember the look it gave you as you stared into its eyes and when you realized it was alive? Can I roll a wisdom saving throw? Yes. At the, <laughs> the horrible at, visage at of the pop, popping, <laughs> screaming advantage. corn baby? Mm -hmm. Come on, B. Come on. Nope. Oh, oh my wow. God. <laughs> wow. Beth. That's Guys, you're just going to have to drag her <sighs> behind you. A two and a one. Which one would you like me to take, Joel? Well, it's advantage, so you get the two. Thank you. Uh, unfortunately, though, and, and, and it's becoming frustrating, like, in your head. There's this little voice, right, that knows that this is all wrong, but something uh -huh. is suppressing every bit of that emotion. I just, I just, like, drape my arm over top of Penn's head and <laughs> look at just say, like, she's dumb. Can I try one more thing? Uh, Black, you let me help you, if you don't mind. Yeah, because the, the next one I had uh, included pyromancy, so yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, before we Bara, get there. Bara pops out one of her vials that has, like, the really nasty decomposition smelling, gross, lovely stuff that B hates and corks it, and it's just like, there you go and hands it to Drissé. You know how much she loves that. Okay. I mean, is it like smelling salts? If she wants to. <laughs> I don't want to waste what she has. How many, how many vials do you have of that? But no one's I, trying I to get Pen to break out of it. Pen's just standing there. Pen's hanging out. <laughs> because in my in Drissé's mind, you you said that he will work for you, so whatever you tell him to do, he'll do. Oh. In Drissé's mind. Yeah. So, okay. So how many vials of this do you have? I, I didn't give you the silvery stuff. Remember when the bodies exploded and it was all over us? Oh, the it's the body black. stuff. Okay, it's that okay. stuff, yeah. Um, yeah. I will take the vial and throw it in her face. <gasps> <gasps> oh, no. Oh, my word. <laughs> This you just because because it it, because it's that it's monster exploded space. in her face and she had a very visceral reaction to it. Miss Perini, so I am doing would you that. like me to set you down? B, you become splattered in that same blackened icor from that fight, staining your clothes that Thaddeus had worked so hard to just clean, and the smell hits you very hard. Uh, should I roll to there's not no fall roll off here. of pen? Well, <laughs> there's no. Uh, you back. don't fall off. You, but it it clears your head. Oh, you, <clears throat> you absolute, you bitch! Welcome <laughs> back. It's good to have you back. Oh my, my, and I'm I'm just wiping it from my face. I'm wiping it from my. It's getting. It's like on my shirt, and I, as I wipe, I just smear it more. <laughs> and I'm I'm wiping it on pen, and I'm just. <laughs> Like, I, I don't, I, Thaddy, Thaddeus, Thaddeus, help me. <sighs> yes. Help. Yes, ma'am. Just I need a hanky. Kneel down. I'm, yeah, I need to, to understand why I had to do that. <laughs> I need a hanky. He will offer her one and <laughs> cantrip time here. Glowing white finger. <sighs> I must say, to say, the both thank you and uh, with all due kindness, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, and you and you start to, and now we all begin to realize that Pen is just like still standing in the middle of the green here, observing everything in front of Pen. How you, how are you feeling, man? How's it going? I I'm. Yeah, honestly, I'm just kind of watching all this uh, occur, and you know, of course, just having recently uh, you heard from Balra the 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 people you know don't appear to be you know, exactly alive. I'm now kind of like staring at the children, <laughs> and and just kind of like puzzled, uh, puzzled by them. They look alive. 
they move like human children move. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's uh... the thing you say. <laughs> hmm. I want to go to the, uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, of course, yeah, with everything that's, you know, going on <laughs> with, uh, Miss Perennial, um, okay. I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to continue carrying, uh, <laughs> But so, I'm gonna so go that is just like over cleaning her up, and then you just turn around and yeah. leave <laughs> with me. <laughs> yeah, I w I'm gonna start talking to the children. Okay. <sighs> and uh, ask, "Well, hi, children." And they like look up at you with big old eyes, and they stop playing from a. There's three or four of them in front of you here, and they look in various different states of kind of grimy. They're like quintessential village children, right? And mm. they're exactly like what you would expect. And they're like, oh, hi. Hi, my name is Pendulum. This is Miss Perennial. I don't mean hi. they don't need to know my name today. Perennial. It's a good <laughs> name. Oh, uh, and I flick just like nasty at him. <laughs> they they kind of giggle and laugh and like jump backwards from it. <laughs> I would like to ask you a question. What is it, big guy? Are you alive? Or are you dead? They kind of look at each other and they look. We're alive, silly. Hmm. Balra, these people say they're alive. Bala's just like nodding. <laughs> yes. Yes. Indeed, another. Bala's going to ask Trisse, do you still have the note that we found? I do. You ask Pendulum to help you with the note. Are, are you saying I should ask him? It might snap him out of it. Okay. It seems to take command, I guess. I, look at how Poppy Blurred looks. I, I know, I love it. <laughs> He's in character, it's so cute. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> okay, um, I will walk out in front and uh, show him the paper. Uh, Pendulum, do you remember this? In that room full of monsters that we fought, that was that family. Do you remember seeing this? Yes, I do remember. This so, was when we fought that interesting family that was not really people. They were some kind of Balra does the Will creature. Smith stance at the kids. <laughs> <laughs> just say he's a tool. He'll just do whatever we tell him to. Well, you want to get back to the Duck Inn? Where you have to duck to get in? Yes, Pendulum, do exactly. you mind ducking to get into the inn? You'll have to duck pretty deep, too. I think I can manage. I would also, ask B, you. Also, B, I do apologize for going to that length with your uh, face, but it was better than lighting your robes on fire, which was my next idea. I definitely appreciate that you did not stoop to that level. Yes. <laughs> But just never do that again to me. Look at my, look at my eyeliner. It's uneven. I that is correct. You are still gorgeous with uneven eyeliner. This is all. That yeah. is that is correct. Yes, yes. That's fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Yeah, Pendulum, like... I would like to ask you a question. As we are By making our way to this end, please look within yourself and try to determine if your current state of mind aligns with the internals of your mechanicals. Something seems awry here. Perhaps some introspection is in order. Hmm. That I can do. I'll start combing back through the previous several hours that we've spent together. Hopefully with some reasonable haste. 
<laughs> oh, yes, it takes me no time whatsoever. I've already done it. <laughs> on to the inn. Right. So you move on to the inn. We'll see if Pendulum gets his wits back. Who's the first <laughs> one to duck to get in? <laughs> right here. <coughs> Thaddeus Little is going to do it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Thaddeus, you duck mm -hmm. to get in. And please don't say I turn into a duck. <laughs> Fortunately, <laughs> you don't. But you do step out somewhere else. What? Hmm. Thanks for the chaos chat. <gasps> yeah. uh, oh, there God. it is. God damn it. Oh, you look no. around you and you are alone. You are in a large hall of a room ornately adorned. The light holds this reddish tint as it bathes the mar marble floors and columns. Large windows line the walls, looking out onto a reddish, desolate landscape. A large, tanned figure sits in a throne-like chair, bearded chin resting in their palm, brown curled hair hanging to their shoulders. They seem bored. Their hands are covered in rings, enormous gems studded in some of them. Golden bracelets climb their forearms, and their loose clothing in purples and greens seems to be of mostly silk. The hilt of a sword peeks up from behind the chair back. Their gray-green eyes widen as they notice your appearance in the room, and they rise quickly. Curious. How do you find yourself here, visitor? My guards and my alarms never sounded, yet here you are in my pro most private of sanctums. He paces like a cat, observing you. I believe I've been sent here, but by who, I cannot say. Cocks his head at you and says, Who do you serve? <laughs> Are you assassin? Spy? I serve myself and the country of Clementine. He, like, settles for it. Clementine. Uh, you are not from here. That is correct. Hmm. He relaxes a bit. Still standing. He's looking <sighs> around as this conversation is happening for anything mm -hmm. abnormal, out of place. Uh, roll me quick perception. Got it. <sighs> that, is a, that is a six. <laughs> You've got what you have in front of you here, and you seem to be in some kind of ornate throne room. Um, the landscape outside looks completely foreign to you. It's somewhat desertish, but too red in color. A purely red sun hangs low in the sky, and it, it looks like a blasted landscape, as if explosions had happened all through it. Does this look like some kind of sultanate? Uh, a real-world analog? Somewhat. Okay. Yeah. There would definitely be flavor for that there. All right. He goes, huh. I think I know what happened here. And he looks up. He's, Cousin. No? Hmm. He likes to play these games. How about this? You have disrupted me in my relaxation. But I am not without mercy, as long as you will play my game. Yes! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Answer me. Eyes? Like a gray-green. Okay, that's right. You did say that. Apologies. Mm -hmm. All good. I was looking for telltale signs of a certain thing, but... Mm -hmm. yes. Go on. Answer me these three riddles, and I will return you to where you belong. Or... I will make my cousin do it. Scoundrel. Do you agree? Or, and he turns back quickly to behind the chair and draws out a large curved sword. Do you die here now? You don't leave much choice, do you? No. No, I do not. Never leave anything to chance. Perhaps and there's an alternative. I am listening. 
I am the most trusted advisor to the heiress of a rather large and wealthy kingdom. Should we come to a mutual beneficial agreement, you help me find my way back to where I came from. Without sword, sorcery, or anything untoward toward me, then my kingdom may owe yours a favor. Unfortunately, as wonderful as that sounds, the name Clementine does ring familiar in my ears, and I have many amongst those people who already bow in worship towards me. I am not in need of more from you, sir. He files that information away. <laughs> there is nothing that your mortal flesh and coin could ever give me. So now, it is, I suspect. Do you play this game? Or do I kill you now? I don't believe I have much choice. You do not. So you better answer correctly. <laughs> not good at riddles, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> good thing dice might be. <laughs> hey. <Yeah. laughs> He sheathes the sword, sits down in his chair, crosses his legs one over the other, and looks at you. I have towns without people, forests without trees, and rivers without water. What am I? <sighs> I Fortunately, that would... Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I, I believe that would be a map. Oh, that is good! That is good! Good. Well done. Well done. On to the next. What falls but never breaks? And what breaks but never falls? I have a guess, but I don't know if it's right. <laughs> uh. He sits and eyes you. Well, mortal? What's there? There are many interpretations to this one. Huh. You could say that the day breaks and then the sun falls. And then you would be the correct. Day. Oh! Okay. <laughs> and he gives another polite clap. Says, you are very smart for a mortal. It has been a long time since anyone wandered in here to play my game. I feel fortunate this day. Mayhaps I should thank my cousin the next time I see him. The last. And you have pleased me. I will make it an easy one for you. For I wish to see you again sometime. Death, it's, oh what? my god. <laughs> the artist here. Wow. Oh my god, it's amazing. I love him. <laughs> that yeah. is one dapper yeah. gin. I'm going to need a romance novel cover of that, please. <laughs> wow. it's, it's just, it's, we're just going to keep this here. It's who you're talking yeah, to. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he goes, leaning back, lounging. <laughs> the more you leave behind, the more you take. What am I? Oh, I? This is the easy one. He sits back and fiddles with one of the rings on his finger. <laughs> <laughs> Stella, no. <laughs> I didn't say it on this, so it's not recorded. <laughs> <laughs> I think well, I might need some dice roll help here because I yeah. don't know. I mean, you're you're smart, right? This is yeah. this is an intelligence check. This is literally figure out the riddle. Okay. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Hopefully, this plus four is enough. Nope. Seven. Oh dear. And he, his eyes like kind of fall. His smile fades. He's. Do you? This is the one you failed on. 
How unfortunate. (laughs) 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 And to think I had a gift for you. How about you just give it a guess? Maybe you'll be right. And if can, not... Hmm. Can you repeat uh, it for me? The more you leave behind, the more you take. What am I? My guess isn't right, but I will say it. Perhaps this is an easy one, because it is potentially related to my expertise, but it sounds like the more time you leave behind, the more you take. He stops, he thinks. Well, that was not the answer that I had in mind. That is... That is good. (laughs) I will have to think on this. The answer, my friend, is footsteps. It is footsteps. And he takes a ring off his finger and tosses it to you. You catch it. And we watch as black curling smoke sweeps Thaddeus up and deposits him into the duck inn. Oh, boy. Where you have to duck to to get get it, get in, get in. Stop it. And you find yourself there, back at the duck. People inside, your friends following in behind you, ducking into the building. Like nothing had ever changed. Also, round of applause for Beth. That was what a what a piece <laughs> of art on the fly. Wow. Fantastic. For those of you that listen to this in audio only, go do yourself a favor and find it on the YouTuber Twitch VOD. That's fantastic. <laughs> wow. All right. Glad you this, liked like, it. Castlevania genie vibe going on there. Mm-hmm. He was very hot. I was very into it. I'm sorry I messed up his <laughs> mouth at the end there. Oh, it's worth it. He was not happy, so it made sense. Yeah, you find yourself in the duck. Andre, the halfling gentleman behind the bar, talking to some people you don't recognize there. And looking about the room, none of the people here are the ones that you saw seven hours ago. I would like to return to the same position I left him in and march up to the bar and grab him by his collar again. You march right up to the bar, grab him by the collar, and everyone around you goes quiet, and they're all watching this right now as you grab him. Welcome back. Uh, It seems that your delivery went rather well, I think. Those ruffians in the orchard didn't give you too much trouble, did they? And he, like, looks down at your clothing and and things. Does look like you took a couple of nicks and stabs here and there, though. <clears throat> yeah, you you don't say. Uh, hey, Thaddeus, would you like to recount what we found and what we encountered when we went to this place that you sent us to, specifically? I'd be happy to. Make sure to keep in a look in his eyes, because I believe he already knows. I pop up a fireball in my other hand. Oh, and before I continue, proprietor, just know there are two ways to go about this. There is the easy way, of course, which we always prefer. But many of us here have no qualms about getting answers the hard way. (laughs) And he looks at you and he looks nervous. And he he nods. Yeah, of course, of course. There are far worse things than death. I think it would be... Go ahead. He will recount in grotesque detail as much as possible everything that we went through. Okay. And trying while to make Thaddeus, it as visceral as possible. Go ahead, sorry. While Thaddeus is viscerally, juicily, squelchingly <laughs> recounting the story, <laughs> I think B's gonna come down off of Penn's shoulders and make her way confidently behind the bar. Okay. Um, and just start going through his stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's my stuff now. Sure. Uh, Balra, what are you doing? Um. (sighs) 
I think Balra is like listening to this conversation, but is leerily looking at the mounted duck that was in the wall that gave her the literal <laughs> demon stink eye the last time she was here. Mm. Um, and I think I honestly, I feel like with the last surprise we had, she's kind of readying herself for a fight, whether it be a barkeep fight. Yeah, so like or, maybe you're like, you hand on that like scalpel down low yeah. somewhere, just ready that something, something might happen. Balra's skeeved out, like yeah. with the conversation with the old lady and then the, the duck that she's now staring at again and then not knowing what existence we're in and the sun didn't feel weird and a lot of things are kind of stacking, so she's kind of ready to defend herself if she has to. Okay, absolutely. I want to get directly in Andre's face. <laughs> yeah, all right, Pent, so you're, you're in his face <laughs> next to Drusay here. Yeah, what do you do? I'm just like staring him down, like just getting like I, I want to get like almost nose to nose, like I'm trying to see if he you, does like any like if his if I see the holes. You're still weird. under the the effect of the area, correct? Oh, oh, right. I, yes, oh, so never mind then. Never mind then. I'm just staring around. I'm looking at all the duck. Does okay. his uh, introspection help at all? I'm curious. It's introspection. Oh, right. Roll me a wisdom safe. Yeah, maybe. You oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about your interest. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, chaos took priority for the moment. That's a nat Whoa! 20. You are up Whoa! in that boy's face. <laughs> you are up in his face studying him. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Remember. Abs absolutely. It only took a quick two seconds of introspection, and, and then Penn's like, oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, man, good to go. Wow, that's yeah, crazy. I'm, just, I'm, I'm like, just like, I'm, I'm just kind of like, if, if he moves, I move with him. Just kind of. Yeah. <laughs> And he's just like, he's looking at both of you and, and then like, B, you're behind the bar fiddling with stuff now, right? Like messing with mm -hmm. it. Go ahead and roll me in an investigation as you just investigate behind the bar. God. It's a two. Assholes. Oh my God. Lots Every and roll. lots of really greasy glassware, uh, beer taps. Um, I just don't want to touch. I just don't want to touch. Yeah. And you're just like, oh, maybe, oh, maybe, maybe some other time, but. Yes, Thaddeus, you recount in excruciating, squelching detail. I would what like to happened. make it a bit theatric. <laughs> sure. Just a little bit. He he's going to do this to draw the attention of the crowd, but it's with the purpose of making sure to watch the crowd to see if they do anything. To okay. Us. Okay. Um they all stop and, and they watch. Uh Balra, you're give, give, give me a perception check because you're the one really actively okay. looking around the room here. Yes, cool. An eleven. Eleven. You watch as they're like quiet and watching. Their faces don't really change. They don't change somewhat of the mood that they're in. They feel, you know, dead. They feel dead. They feel like the woman outside. Their eyes are kind of unfocused here, and they don't seem to meet your own as you look around. Uh, our our barkeeper, Andre. Uh, that, that's all very awful. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Uh, that was clearly not intentional. Please, if you don't mind setting me down back behind the bar where I belong. No. He's not talking, is he? How how small is he? He's a he's a halfling. Um, so, so can I small. uh DM which window faces the plume of smoke in the distance? Uh, we'll say one of the ones by the front door. Okay, I would like to drag him over and press his face against the window so he can see what we've done to the place that he sent us oh, to. Okay. <laughs> and and you do so, and you press him up. Oh, all of that's that's from you. That's There's more of that where that came from. We I demand help. answers because you have put the lives of innocents in danger and I cannot stand by that. He put the life of me in danger and we can't stand by that. Innocence. We are part of the innocents. Innocence. 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 And he continues to mutter it to himself and you realize that his voice has changed. His demeanor has changed. His stance has changed. Andre, you know now as you can't really drag him around, he becomes taller than you. He 
stands next to you and turns a cloaked form, skull, and glowing eyes. Ooh. I will take several steps back. Do I Innocence. recognize the creature of this type? Innocence. Uh, roll me arcana or nature. Innocence. You call yourselves innocence. And he begins to walk back behind the bar where he pointedly looks at B and just glare expectantly. <sighs> Will you please return to the other side of the bar, Miss B. Perennial, the second? I do, I do it. <laughs> Goes to the other side of the bar, and he rests his bony hands on the counter. Do not threaten me. You do not know what you are dealing with. Thaddeus, do you want to make your roll? I did. I got an 11. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, Penn, you rolled one as well. Um, it resembles a, a like undead things that you you've heard of, or or like a white, or at worst case like some kind of lich, something like that. But like your your the amount of knowledge that you have is not enough to pinpoint which of the things it might be. So and dangerous maybe, or dangerous, yeah, right? And he stands there. I take the form of Andre to ease the passing of those that have fallen. They arrive in my bar. I calm them, and I send them along their way. Unfortunately, you have broken a deal that I made. And for that, I am truly sorry. But I will have to finish the job. He snaps his fingers. And the duck's eyes on the wall flare. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the duck. The duck changes shapes and forms and elongates into a long bone snake like creature as it crawls out and slithers up behind. Oh, hell. He says, You were supposed to be taken. You were a debt to be paid. Like many others I've sent before you. What gives you the right to continue living when so many others have died again in front of you? It I is can't. time for you to die. I need you to roll me initiative. Yes. Oh. Don't forget to click I, your token. <laughs> yeah, you. click your token. Oh, I told you oh. we were bait. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, love that. Pen's the love best. that. How about that? God, if only I had a nat 20 that maybe somebody would. <laughs> 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 All I have to do is click my token, not. Do you have a knife? Any. Yes, you click your token and you then you, you roll initiative now. from your, uh, from your page. I've done it. Excellent. Chaos is only. Get out. <laughs> okay. Um. Really wishing we had a full night's rest. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. We haven't done that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. That's crazy, right? My crossbow's right? Bo broken. Is it My still crossbow? within the eight-hour range of me giving them aid previously? Just barely, but yes. I mean, that's you guys still have five max content. Call me Aether. Uh, okay. Um, that's Andre, and then where is his duck? Hang on, I had this pulled out, and now I can't find it. Ah, Duke Ferrello Arton the third is now a large what? bone snake-like creature behind you here. Uh, okay. That's a name. Yeah, I gave you that name. What a yeah, lovely name. Beginning. That is a long name. Yeah, he's a, you know, he's a lovely boy. Uh, Duke all right. the Duck. Duke the Duck. <laughs> oh, God. Duke all right, Thaddeus duck. McCormick, you are at an initiative of 25 
the Yo. first to go here as you are now surrounded and you see Andre Andre summoning some form of magic in his hands as the snake like creature swirls around behind question indeed am I holding a ring you are indeed holding a ring he holds it up I believe uh-huh. we are here for a reason and there are more powers at play here than yourself some of uh-huh. which are on our side and he puts uh-huh. the ring on uh-huh uh-huh uh-huh, uh-huh. What happens? What happens? Uh, (laughs) You instantaneously attune to this item now in your uh, your journal, known as the Ring of the Ram. And you can use it if you would like to. What what is it? I know what that is. The ring has three charges, and while wearing it, you can use an action to expend a charge (laughs) to attack a creature you see within 60 feet. It produces a spectral ram's head and makes an attack roll on hit. For each charge you spend, it take the target takes two d10 force damage is pushed five feet away from you. Okay. We love that. It's yeah. good. I I, I want to use it. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Uh, how many charges do you expend? All of them. Okay, all three charges. Uh, I need a roll to hit, so I need a d20 plus seven. Yeah, yeah. That's oh, I'm so worried about this. Okay. Yeah, no nat 20s in that pocket, huh? Nope, I used it. <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. Oh jeez. I've been using up all the ones, so. Didn't want to leave them on the table, so here we go. Preach hands in the go. air. <sighs> Fingers crossed. Okay. Man. I got a 14. A 14 to hit. Fortunately for you, he doesn't wear much armor. The ram yeah! hits. I have and to it back. hits I'm so sorry. hard. Um, absolutely. Ooh. Go ahead and roll me the uh, uh, what was it? It's two six d ten. Oh my god! For each charge, you spend take two d. Yeah, six d ten points of force damage and is slammed Holy. into the wall behind you. <gasps> Good wow. God, the above average. Oh my god. 34 points slamming him into the wall here and you watch as like the head cracks back and snaps into the wall and he's and he seems to lose whatever spell he had there. That won't be enough to bring me into undeath. But you dealt a huge amount of damage to him here and he seems a little stunned by the blow. Okay. Uh, that being said, Thaddeus, that is your action. You have a movement and bonus action remaining if you would like to utilize it. Oh my god, you guys all rolled so high, too. Yeah. Look at you go. Movement and bonus action. Okay, I don't have any bonus actions as far as I know. Um, so I'm going to simply get some distance. Okay. Right about there. Okay, absolutely. Uh... Perfect, perfect. Uh, Leslie, you did just gain a nat 20 here, uh, as well as I was given a nat 1 to apply as I see fit. Um, Okay, absolutely. Good turn there, and this brings up B. B, what would you like to do as this bone-like creature slithers behind you, snapping at you? That's what I'm going to focus my energy on, my attention. Um... Please be patient with me as I do the fighting part. It Absolutely. Is my weakness. But it is not B's weakness, fortunately. It's certainly not. Yeah. B un unclasps her um her cape mm-hmm. and allows it to fall to the floor. Yes. And as it's falling to the floor, she will unsheath her long sword in her one hand spin and attack the face of this stone dragon. Absolutely! Go ahead and roll for me. Okay. That's a 26 hit! Yes! Absolutely it hits! This was my my mistake. B is not an investigator. She is not a perceptive woman. B is a fighter. Yeah, absolutely. Roll me damage for that. Yes, sir. Nine. Okay, nine points of slashing damage here uh, as you chip into this bone-like creature, and it gives this weird chattering sound as you do hit it. Yeah, nine points of damage. Fantastic. Uh, um, I have fighting style. 
real quick, What's fighting up? style dueling. When you ha when you are wielding a melee weapon with one hand and no yes. other weapons, you yes. gain a plus two bonus yes. to damage rolls with that yes. weapon. Is yes. that applied? Uh, it should be. And so uh, on your character sheet, underneath everything where it says global damage modifier, there's a little button where you can turn it on and it'll just show up when you do the rolls next time. So I've just clicked it on for you. It's a little checkbox uh, ah, on your character okay. sheet down there where it says fighting yeah. style. Uh, if you have that on, it'll do it. So yeah, we'll take it. It's another two. So it'll be 11, 11 points of slashing damage to D Duke Ferrello Fer Arton the third, the Duke Duck. Excellent. Great. Okay. You have bonus action and movement remaining. If you want to like try and rotate around the creature here, step away from it and risk an attack of opportunity, or use your bonus action for something. Um. Yeah, I'll rotate around. Okay. Be over here. Uh, and I also want to use a bonus action to regain an expended psionic energy die from our previous battle. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. So now you have that in your back pocket. Yes. All right, perfect. Uh, Drissé, what are you thinking? Uh, I would like to use Witch Bolt on... Uh, uh, oh, my God. Uh, Andre. On Andre. So Witch Bolt, uh, as as a, a thing, is is a ranged attack. So when you make it while you're in melee with big bone thing back here, it's difficult for you to do. Oh, sorry, that's, you're up front. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, you're good. All right, you can do it. Sorry, that's <laughs> wrong person. Uh, yeah, you want to Witch Bolt them. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, do you want to move it all previous to it, or you just want to go ahead and Witch Bolt? I'll stay here. Okay. I got good old Pendulum next to me. I feel I safe. Got I got good old <laughs> pendulum. That's true, you do. All right. Uh, so go ahead, and as you cast out the witch bolt here, let's see if it hits. Uh oh, sorry. What do I need to roll? Roll witch or... bolt for me. Okay. And it will. Oh, cast uh, a level one, right? In unless you're planning to upcast it, I don't think you have those I spell don't think slots I though. Can right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Keep in mind. Um, you, no one's regained spell slots either. You're all at your, whatever you had spent during the last fight. I did get That's two. what you got. Right, mm -hmm. well, special wizard things. Oh, hold on, I see. So if I use a spell slot of two, then that takes, uh, okay. Okay, I will cast a level one, that's fine. Okay, absolutely, let's see if it hits. A 24, <gasps> yeah. So the wow. lightning crackles out. Uh, oh, the fire. Sorry, I forgot we use fire yes, here fire. in this blue house. Flame. The blue flame. I don't have blue flame as a, a token, but blue the fire comes out and uh, strikes uh, strikes our friend here. The barkeeper. Well, whatever he is, really. Uh, He's not a friend. Directly in the chest, and you are now linked to him with the fire there, dealing six points worth of damage. And yeah, already... Uh, Andre looks pretty hurt. So cool. That is your action. What else would you like to do? Uh, I think it's a concentration spell, so I don't think I can do it anything is. else, right? Uh, so a concentration spell only prevents you from casting other concentration spells. Um, you still have your oh. bonus action on this turn if there's something you can do with it. I'm not exactly sure everything on your sheet. You also have movement. If you just want to move somewhere, or you can just maintain where you're at on the other side of the bar here, blasting him with fire. Hmm. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> okay, absolutely. Pen, what would you like to yes. do? Yes. Uh, having just witnessed uh, Drissé hit this guy pretty hard, mm -hmm. I'm just going to hop over the counter and get <laughs> right next to him. Absolutely. And, uh... I'm swinging the great club. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Go for it. Just keep him in uh, my range, man. Oh, yeah, no, I, I won't, he, he won't move if I hit him. Yeah, we're, try, we're trying him. to. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That's an 18 Heck with a great yeah. club. Absolutely. <laughs> and then uh, was a. Uh, 10 yeah, bludgeoning damage. He slammed. He gets yeah. knocked back into the wall, and it. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it hurts. Great club. It really, really <laughs> hurts. Gotta love this a great club. Um, <sighs> wow. Our name. So he's not dead yet, but it's looking pretty heckin' close. 
<laughs> wow. Repaying the debt to you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Um, great. Cool. Uh, Pen, anything else, bonus action or otherwise? Uh, no, I'm just going to... I'm going to kind of hang right here and just... Uh, okay. I'm just going to you know, wait him out. Going to wait him out. All right. It is now his turn. Okay. Okay. He reaches out slowly towards you, Pen, and you mm -hmm. watch as this kind of purplish energy comes out, and it links to some purplish energy coming off of you. And he mm. goes, It is not my time. And you feel your life force being taken from you. Ooh. He will life drain you for 15 points Whoa. of necrotic damage. Ouch. <laughs> and I need you to roll me a constitution saving throw. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> that is not good. Good con save. Oh, nice. nice. I thought about using the nat one there, but I'm not going to do it. Um, yeah. <laughs> so he pulls your very life force from you and you feel mm. it being drawn out of you. Um, mm. You resist the weakening sensation from it, though. So good on you there. Um, he is then going to disappear from your view here and ah. misty step to behind over here. <laughs> your fire will maintain as it crosses the entire bar now, ah. but he places himself behind <gasps> his uh -oh. friend, the Duke. Oh. At the door itself. So is it hurting him too? What do you mean? Is it hurting the Duke as well? Or Balra? No, no, no. The 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 the, the, the flame thing. It just it connects two beings together. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Um, got it. This is got the it. token I have is a wall of fire, so it's not very gentle in the way that it looks. No, no, no. Okay, got it, got it. So it's it's only linking him. Okay. Correct. Cool. Yes. I'm about to say yes. Rip Balra if that was the case. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh. Duke Ferrello Arton the third. Oh my goodness. Is... Jesus, what a mouthful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> well, it's going to cast from its big bone-like mouth as it turns towards our friends near the bar. Oh no. Lightning bolt. And it is going to attempt to Jeez. hit as many as possible as it can, which is going to be these two here. I need dexterity saving throws from both Balra and Use my 20. Say. Use your 20. All right, good job, Balra. Wait, actually, yeah. yeah, me too. You want to use yours too? Yeah, I yeah, think use yeah, them, use them or lose them, guys. Yeah, fuck that. Come on, hell Jeez, yeah. Snake ass. <laughs> uh, yeah, so with the successes here, uh, it will be... Oh, God. Okay, good. Because that is a total of 37 points of lightning damage that goes Whoa. slamming into the wall Yo. behind you, tearing oh, up all of the on? bottles. What? And yeah, uh, so half down. Half down. Uh, what's half of... Half of 40 is 20, so it's like 17 points of damage. 17 points of lightning damage as you both dodge out of the way of it. For both of us? Both. Is it, we're, we're all both okay? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did we take 17 points? 17 points yeah. of damage. Yeah, it's one of those oh, where it's like I'm a half dead. damage if on a success. Oh, okay. I'm dead. What? Uh, yeah, just say, uh, just say only roll one, one hit die on the short rest. And okay. goes goes down. Can I do it again? Yo, hey, my Snail, name is Snail up B, down. and I can protect. I can cast protective field when you or another creature you can see within yeah. thirty feet of you takes damage. Yeah, yes. Drusse, you fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Second time I'm gonna do this for you, dude. Uh huh. What uh, do you roll? Roll the, your, your psionic energy die and then reduce the damage taken by the number rolled plus your intelligence mod modifier, which is a negative one. Haha. <laughs> so. Let's see how much. I did compliment B's eyeliner, just letting you know. Just reminded you. <laughs> yeah. 
after you put uh, like doused uh, them in, well, in yes, rotten. But it, 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 it was it was for your own good. <laughs> Guts in my face. Uh, one d six and. Two points. Two. It reduces it to fifteen total points of damage, Drusay. I'm still dead. Drusay oh, still goes down. Yeah, I, I only had twelve hit points. Damn. Oh shit. It was worth trying. No, I, I appreciate it. So uh, I just put that down to a zero. Then is that what I? Do? Yes, indeed. Okay, and you are cool, now great. Fuck you, Joel, in the first process of, of <laughs> dying. Yeah. Good. Great. Cool. I'll remember that, Joel. Sure. Exactly. <laughs> I hope so. Um. <laughs> the the she duke. Makes it so personal. Yeah. Well. Uh, <laughs> is. Yeah, I think so. That's the only it can only ca cast the one spell on this turn. God, I hope so. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that's what it does, Balra. Uh, Balra seeing Drissé goes down. Uh, you guys see her immediately fall next to Drissé on the ground and touch the ground around her, putting her hands on Drissé's body. Says, "Death not now," and uses, "Spare the dying." Uh, Jerse, you are down, but you will not be making any death saving throws. So you are stable for the time being, unless someone chooses to come over here and stab She also you. has a bonus action where she's going to use healing word on her. Okay. As a note, would you like to do something else with your action? Because healing word will just bring them back. I... You don't have to spare the dying first. Oh, mm. okay. Mm. Okay. Oh. You can just um, use healing word. I didn't know that. Yeah. Then... This sucks because I know the damage is going to be not as good, but uh, she, that was, well, mm, I'm just giving you spare the dying's an action. Oh, well, yeah. So, okay. He'll use healing word and get her to being stable. Yeah, uh, so use your bonus action then, for healing word. Mm -hmm. Thank you for letting me retort. And yeah, uh, she'll turn, she'll turn around behind her and grip uh, Duke Butthead, Butthead, Butthead the third. <laughs> and <laughs> use Inflict Wounds. Yeah! Oh, oh, okay. Side note, though. Inflict Wounds is a leveled spell. So is um, your bonus action for uh, Healing Word. You can't use two leveled spells. Oh, God. I hate being a caster! <laughs> <laughs> um. so, uh, options, options here are like an attack or a cantrip. If I know. you would like to use Sure, I'll use Told the Dead. Word. Yeah, so absolutely. Told death one of the best cantrips in the game. Uh, they have to make a wisdom saving throw here, uh, which they don't have a good bonus to, and they roll a six. Duke Frollo, mm -hmm. Art in the third, not very wise, rolls a six here. So you can roll me a d12 for the damage because he has already seen uh, additional damage. Uh, what does your bell sound like? God, it's a two. Oh. Um, um, it sounds like a like large chapel bell, but as if it's like um cracked and um distorted and off key almost as if it's causing dissonance with the own with its own sound uh yeah. there absolutely uh now <laughs> roll me um uh, roll me your uh oh my gosh i can't think of healing word over and over again for some reason roll me healing word yeah <laughs> You get some. Four, you get four. You get four. Get four. <laughs> All right. You get four back. But the benefit of that is, is you're conscious. You're on the mm -hmm. ground, like having like tossed over some stools and stuff as you hit the ground. This lightning goes blasting through the bar. Um, but you're alive. So I get four back. You get four back. Mm -hmm. You're conscious on the ground at four. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Balwar, you do have movement. Do you want to move at all? Like, you can rotate around the creature without risking any attacks of opportunity if you'd like to. Um. No. She'll stay next to Jesse. All right. Thaddeus, yeah. back at the top. What would you like to do? Oh, what's the range on this guy? Okay, good. The, uh timepiece that he has ticks a little faster and a 
singular point of black appears in between the two enemies and begins to distort time and space, magnifying gravity between the two of them. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, so for that, I need con saves for them, correct? Yes. DC 14. Con save. Con save. Okay. Um, you watch as Andre easily shrugs off the effects of the spell. But Duke Ferrillo Arton III seems to be pulled backwards by it as the gravity compresses behind him, crushing some of the bones of his snake-like form. Ooh. So go ahead and roll me some damage for that. All right. Let's see if it's a spine So Andre bone. will take half only, and he will not yep. be slowed by it. Okay. So 2d8. Nine, half? Okay. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Andre takes the half as you watch it, like, crunch some of his pieces, but he does shrug off most of the effect there, whereas Duke Arton, ha, huh, does not, uh, does... Oh, sorry. Ignore that. Not. Sorry. It's fine. Uh, okay. And is now slowed as well. Okay, perfect. Thaddeus, anything else? Movement and bonus actions. I don't have any bonus actions. So he's going to... Well, I was here, right? Mm -hmm. He's going to try to keep Andre in line of sight. Okay. So he's just going to move closer to the bar. All right. B, the bone creature is in front of you. I'm getting real tired of this bullshit. And she's going to take another swing with her longsword. Okay. Hmm. Uh, a 10, unfortunately, will miss as it clanks no one gave off me, of it. No one gave me any natural 20 dice. No one no I'm... one, no one has that right now, and I actually need to remove the one for Stella and Leslie here. And I don't get chronal shifts back from short rest, so I can't give you a reroll. Unfortunately not. Oh, I have nat 20s. <laughs> yeah, you do. And in that one. Do you want to do a cradle shift so that Joel doesn't see that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do want to do that. Uh, okay. Um, uh, I miss? You miss. What's this do? If I do an action surge. There you go. I can you get push to myself again. beyond your normal limits for a moment. Uh, and I'll still be able to do a bonus action after this. Indeed. Action surge That's... just gets to happen one time per short or long rest. Yeah. Sick. Doing it again. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Oops, I missed. Let's do like a left, a left-handed swing. That's that a... That's nine. That's a nine. It's one less, in fact. Uh, no, indeed. I'm not left-handed. No, <laughs> turns out. B tried to get a little fancy with it, and uh, it, it didn't turn out. Bonus actions. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to use second wind. That's a great idea. Yep. So it's a D10, turn. and we'll add three. One D10 plus three. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Fucking but. You get five. I rolled a two. Five back total Thank you. here. Chat. Um, Sorry that I said fucking butt. That was that was. Cr Crass. We're literally talking about pegging before the show started. I think we're yeah. fine here. Yeah. No one knew. <laughs> now chat knows. No now chat knows. <laughs> oh, they know. Uh, they can probably <laughs> guess who it was, too. They know. Uh, all right, Pete, that is action, bonus action. You have movement remaining. Would you like to utilize any of it? No, I'm just going to stand in my failure. Okay, you stand in your failure, and say You are on the ground, but conscious. It will take half your movement to stand and then you may continue with your turn. Uh, what if I wanted to hop across this? Would that be the next half of my movement? I would call it that, yeah. Yeah, okay. I I will uh, gently thank Balra and tell her I'm going to uh, attempt to take cover because I am very close to death still. <laughs> um, and I will jump across Yes. here. Um, one second, let me move myself. Uh, and I would like to cast Sacred Flame on uh, Andre. On Andre. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, he has to roll a dexterity saving throw here. 
Um, what is the what is the DC, the difficulty class for your spell? Top right of your spell sheet. It should say spell save DC <clears throat> next to spell attack bonus 14? on your spell sheet. There you go. Uh, he rolls a 14. Meets, beats. Uh, and so you watch the sacred flame <laughs> appear in the air in front of Andre, and he uh, shrugs off the effect. That fucker. Yeah. I thought we had him. <sighs> okay, that is your action. Do you have any bonus actions you would like to utilize? Uh... Uh, okay, when you cast the spell action. Um, if I ready a spell and I use it the next turn, that's still considered an action, right? Uh, Double so question. readying a spell is more like, hi, I use my action to ready a spell for my reaction off of my turn. I set something, I'd be like, when someone comes into range of me, I cast X thing. And then it happens off of your turn, not I see. on it. Okay. So what are you, what are you looking to do? Uh, Just hmm. tell me your idea. Let's see if it'll work. Well, okay. So I was going to produce flame because I think I can throw that, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, it says when you cast the spell or as an action on a later turn, you can hurl the flame at a creature. Yeah, so I, I believe produce flame is a bonus action to summon it, right? Oh, okay. So you, you, can, you produce the flame and you just hold it. Okay. I'll just, yeah, I'll so hold, produce flame yeah, is one sure. of those things that, like, you can just hold the flame. <laughs> okay. And you can throw it as an action later. All right. Sounds sounds good. Yeah, flame absolutely. flame comforts me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Pendulum, the person you were just yes. beating on with the big stick, uh, poofed away from you. <laughs> what do you want to do? Uh, you know what? After, uh... After everything that just happened, uh, watching Drissé get uh, dropped and uh, you know, seeing Miss you know, Perennial you know, taking, uh, uh, you know, just just taking all kind of grief from this, the Duke. <laughs> um, my focus has shifted from uh, Andre. Even though I'm hurting bad, I'm actually going to hop the counter and. I'm actually going to get about right here on this yeah. guy, and we are just going to stay the course of a great clubbing. Do do it. Do the club. That's a 23 to hit. Damn. Yeah, yeah that'll 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 do it for All six right, bludgeoning damage as you're continuing to it. chip away here. Uh, anything else you want to do? Uh, that is, uh, ooh, man. That is all I'm going to do for right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, Andre. I mean, I got to use him, right? Extends both of his hands and fires off Re two of Remember, you have a nat lights. one. If you don't use it, you might lose it. <laughs> I might, actually. Uh, and he goes... <laughs> poof, poof, and he fires off two of these bolts of purplish light. Um... You know what? You're the two closest. One at Pen and one at B here. These will be nat 20s. I'm going to use I both. I dare you. I so dare no you. Yeah, okay. Uh, you hit me. Uh, oh, I'm no. going gonna, gonna to use both, so I need two additional D8s. <gasps> uh, okay, Pen, you get hit for 19 <gasps> necrotic damage. Uh, I'm just, I'm can you take it? it? I'm just going to like... Uh, 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 Oh. He powers down? B, you take 10 points of necrotic damage. I rolled very low on yours. I could have taken the 19. He was the first. <laughs> um, and that is Andre's turn. He's going to like more solidly put himself in the corner behind uh, Duke Ferrello Arden. So that is both of my nat 20s. Duke Ferrello Arden is going to... He's a coward. He's, he's a coward. He's a coward. He's going to bite you. Um, Me? He's going to attempt to bite you twice here, B. He's going to miss with the first one, and he's going to hit with the second. Um, I'm, I'm going to put my hand... I'm going to put my big, thick arms out. Oh, and he bites here. And he does. And he deals 14 points of piercing damage to your arm as he chomps down on 
all of your arm and most of your upper body. Okay. It's a little harder for me to take that hit. I'm down. I'm I am on my knees. Balra. <laughs> and he's going to You know what? She's got a Okay. He'll take the two at attacks of opportunity here to further secure Andre. So, both B and Balra can make physical melee attacks. Good. Yes, doing that. Will I definitely hit? Uh, I don't know. Did you roll? No. I need you to roll. But a 25 absolutely hits, Balra. Jesus. <laughs> um, yeah. I've seen Bones Bithor. <laughs> you have a plus 10 to your attack mm -hmm. with this freaking scalpel. Uh, wow. and it will deal eight points of piercing damage, and you note something. As it strikes the bone, it inserts inside of it, and you watch as your scalpel drinks deep of this purplish energy. Ooh. It continues to do so until it extracts, and you feel hunger from the blade <gasps> itself. Uh, you seem to have dealt quite a lot of damage to the creature. Oh, More the... than the eight would uh, tell you. Weakened grabs her sword with her other hand, now two-handed wielding it. Swings 16. Okay. okay. Uh, I'll give it to you. So generally, you can't use two-handed with dueling, but I don't care. It'll be 17 total points of damage as you slam into the other side. It looks like Duke Ferrello Arton weakened in its state from Balra stabbing it with the scalpel. Can't take the next blow to the head and crumbles to dust in front of you. That's 17 points of damage. Nice <gasps> going, ladies. I think B's gonna look at Ball Rub with like a, we, hell yeah, hell yeah, girl. Ball yeah, just like- You forgive her? <laughs> <laughs> you forgive her? No. You can, you can feel pride in a joint action and also be mad at somebody long-term. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and we may have gotten a, a bit of a, a bit of a blessing here <sighs> from someone. Arkham, you gotta let us know what it is in the actual text, but thank you. Is it oh a my blessing? god. I hope it is. Oh my god. <laughs> if he gives me another nat one, it's gonna be awesome. Oh no. <laughs> oh right, because Can it's we time get for another nat, nat one? Oh, okay. For, for who? For I get to use them. Yeah. Oh. I get to yeah, I, give I them feel like... to you. So, wait, wait, what? Yeah, yeah, he gets to make what? us roll that one. That's... No, I thought it was for no, you. No, chat. Use. What? No, it's for Arkham, the DM. What the heck? That's what he did the first time, and he said, "Can All we get caps. another one?" Well, I did it. No. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Arkham, you want to reneg on that? Change your uh, your answer there. Yeah, um, Arkham. So continuing <laughs> onwards no! with Walra's turn. Right before my turn. Mm, <laughs> 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 uh. I also, after B comes down with her her very heavy sword and kills this thing, she she falls to her knees. Yeah, feeling really rough here. Oh, bleeding out of her nose. All right, Balra, what do you think? <sighs> Pen is on the ground. I I know, but I love being a healer, gay. Um, <laughs> Joel knows how much I actually detest being an actual healer. So, um, uh, Balra. Uh, his, I think Balra in, um, I guess after seeing this knife absorb this hit and be thirsty, it drives her as well for the same thirst of death. Um, and, uh, if you'll allow me to kind of like flavor text the spell instead of being a flash of light, um, the same smoke that comes out whenever she summons her spirit spiritual weapon and mm -hmm. toll and everything. Uh, she points at Andre and cast Guiding Bolt um, mm -hmm. at him. And I'm just uh, scared. Wee. I have to, I have to use it's it. that one. Mm. Uh, so it misses. Uh <laughs> Andre watches you, raises a hand, and blasts the bolt out of the sky with an own, his own purplish light. It is not that easy to kill a herald. You will have to do better. 
my uncle's name. Um, <laughs> she's gonna, uh... She will retort with, I've seen worse than you. I might as well try. And reach over and use healing word on okay. Pendulum. Yeah. Yay. Use it. Use it. Um, oh, that's not. I almost said getting bolt again. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! Clap! Like, ah! There you oh, are. Nice. It's Stella, six. you have yes. been granted a natural 20. Arkham is apologizing, oh. but says this is your Christmas present. <laughs> uh, okay. So. He's going to have to do better than that, but <laughs> this is a good step to making reparations. I appreciate you. Reparations, you are now... Nice conscious here my mm -hmm. friend pen but you are still on the ground and the fight moves on balra do you have any movement you would like to spend uh balra is actually going to uh join her dressa friend behind her and uh choose to duck behind the bar uh in an attempt to try to get cover okay yeah absolutely thaddeus mccormick Oy, oy, oy. Well, <laughs> I already think I know what's going to happen, but he would do it anyway. So, in character, point a finger at Andre, releasing purple lightning to connect the two of them for a witch bolt. Okay. Yeah. You can certainly try. Mm hmm. What does your witch bolt look like? I don't think you've used it yet. I yes. used it last session. Did you? Okay. Yeah. It's been two weeks, man. There's a lot of days. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of ones. Remind me. Remind me what it looks like. I don't remember, so I'll just do a new one. Absolutely. Like purple lightning, but it's far too precise. Yeah. It almost okay. spirals in a very precise pattern. Hmm. Oh. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna use it regardless. We're gonna use the nat one on this as it spirals outwards and he holds up a hand and the, catches the lightning with his hand in this purplish light and shoves it away. <sighs> you, but you can see it, like, he's haggard, he's beaten, he's broken, his head is like down. The glow, the purple glow in his eyes is fading. This is taking a lot out of him to do. Duke Ferrello's down, he's, he's alone here. Thaddeus, anything else you'd like to do? I don't have anything else. Okay. Any movement? Mm, probably move closer to B and okay. to try to use some movement to drag her away. <laughs> okay. If B. that's not an action. Thaddeus comes up behind you and, and begins to like grab you by the shoulders maybe and try to drag you away from the fight here. What do you want to do? It's Thaddeus. I let him. <laughs> Okay. Uh, what do you do with your turn? You let him take you. Oh, okay. You. Um, as he's dragging me. We fight or we flee. We've almost got him, though. You can see he's cowering in the corner. Then do what you were trained to. Matihi tagged me in chat. Uh huh. And? Did I oh, happen to oh, receive oh, something from oh, Matihi? Oh, you did. You got one. Oh, you got one. Oh, boy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Beth, you have a nat 20. Oh, yeah, power dude. Of the perennials. All right. All right, Jill, help me make this the coolest thing I could ever fucking do. Um,. <laughs> Can I use that 20 to hit? It, absolutely. Sick. I have, I have the ability, psionic strike. Uh-huh. You can propel your weapons with psionic force. Uh-huh. To be fair, I have to, it has to happen one, okay, let me read this whole thing. Once on each of your turns, immediately after you hit a target within 30 feet of you with an attack and deal damage to it with a weapon, you can expend uh, one Psy energy die, rolling it and dealing force damage to the target equal the number rolled plus your intelligence modifier. Yes. What I would love to happen is while 
Thaddeus is dragging B. B uses her psionic abilities to fucking shoot this sword directly into the guts of this enemy. Hell yeah! I'm totally down. Let's do it. Yes! Great! So that's a nat 20 to hit. Uh -huh. So what it's going to do is the damage of the sword and the damage of the the psionic die, and we're going to double the damage die. Yay! Okay! I'm going to... Double the damage die, you say. Mm -hmm. it, it would be the longsword one-handed, right? Not the two-handed? Uh, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, so you're going to do that there. Uh, and then what I want you to do is just cl uh, roll me another d8, and then roll me your two psionic die. Five for my one d8. Okay. <laughs> and three, three for my two psionic die. He pulled too much life from Pen. Oh, sh man. The sword slams into him and pins him against the wall. <gasps> At least I get that. But just, just blood running down her nose. Also, be it, it was dead silent after Thaddeus said that. Shot the sword, blood runs down her nose, pinned yeah. him to the wall. He's pinned to it, and you see just, like, glowing eyes. The light's fading from his hands here. Um, yeah. It, he's not done. He took too much from Penn. <clears throat> Anything else, B? Uh, I think I let myself be dragged. Sure. I don't have yeah. anything else you I can like, do. like, move backwards like this, dragged away. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Um... Just trying to stay conscious. Drusse? Hi. Hi. I would like to barrel across the room towards mm -hmm. this thing. Mm -hmm. This herald, he calls himself. Mm -hmm. I believe that's all of my movement. It uh, is. Can, can I step on this guy? I don't know. Yes. Don't it's, he's bone dust right he's now. He's getting stepped on now. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to take the flame. I'm assuming he's pretty low, right? He looks very hurt. Either this could be really good or really bad, but I would like to use. Oh wait, but I can't. Mm. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I had an idea. Let me let me think it through. Give me one sec. Okay. Okay. Just sneeze right. on him with your fire nose. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would like to cast. I would like to use my twenty to cast burning hands. Oh boy. In his face. Okay. Uh, and the way that I cast it is I hold my hands with thumbs touching and fingers spread so it looks like this, and flames erupt from the middle from my outstretched fingertips. Yeah. Uh, let me put the description oh. in chat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I got you on this one. I'm so glad yeah. it's you, Drissé. <laughs> Each creature in a 15-foot cone must make a dexterity saving throw. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, turns out only creature in this cone in front of you uh, is the man's that you are going to torch. Um, so you do me. so. Okay. Um, I got it, and I got to use it. We're going to make it a regular burning hands. I got a nat 1, so I'm going to cancel your nat 20. Thank you, Arkham. Wait, what? Uh, that's my. That's the last one I got. Wait, I don't, I don't understand. Wait, I'm sorry. You're turning my nat 20 into a nat 1? No, I'm canceling it. I'm just... It's a standard burning okay. hands. Okay. So roll high. Oh. Okay. Can I do it at a level two? Do you because have level have two, two spell slots, slots remaining? Then yes. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Is that, I don't, I don't understand. What does that mean? It means you dealt uh, 12 total points of damage. <gasps> okay. That's great. So the way that this spell actually works, and the reason that, and I'll clarify this for chat and for everyone at home, this is a save spell. You can't apply a nat 20 to a save because it's not a two hit. I was just going to double the damage. 
because it's fun that way and you guys pay for this kind of thing. So I'm just gonna use the nat one to make sure that it that no doubling happens. And we'll treat those nat 20s that way if you wanna use it on an area of effect spell. Let's say you have a fireball and you wanna make it a nat 20 fireball, sure, use it. We'll double the entire damage of a fireball. I don't care, it works for me. But, 12 points of damage as you blast the fire out against Andre and you watch his bony form melt in front of you. The last thing that he says as the fire fades away and he dies You have no idea what you've just done. And Andre, the Herald of Death, dies. God. Well, he and should have told us before we killed him. This <laughs> is where we find ourselves at the end of our episode. Oh. <sighs> oh, my God. oh, that was a choice button. Jesus. A choice button. <laughs> I have four hit points. Oh, no. I have yeah. one. Oh, my God. That's about how many points I have left with my patience with chat right now. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. <sighs> I have that six. was the coolest sequence, though. That was really it was, it was really cool. It's really good. That was awesome. I'm I'm very excited to see where this goes because uh Balra knows stuff about death and um how this probably is going to cause a lot of problems. So I'm very excited to see how this works. Um thank you guys very much for playing this evening. This was awesome. I had a wonderful time. I'm so happy to be back. Um yeah, god. Oh, oof. The show keeps getting better and better, and it's only been episode two, and I'm so fucking excited to see where it goes. Thank you for playing. We're going to do shoutouts all the way around, uh, starting up with Beth B. Rad. Please tell everyone where they can find you on the internet. Yes, please. I'm Beth B. Rad. I'm an artist. I'm a comedian. You can find me on Instagram, on Twitch here every Monday. Um, and what I want you to check out, I've got two podcasts. One's called D and D and D. We just did our season finale, season four season finale. So there's a bunch going on. I think season five might be our last season, so it's setting up for Endgame. I love it. Yep, I have uh, another podcast called Your Art Friends. And if you're an artist, you'll be especially interested. And if you're not an artist, the intro says you could be Da Vinci or Da Worst. This is for you. It's it's very good. I'm <laughs> terrible that. at art. Have you it's listened fantastic. to it? Yeah, yeah. Oh my it's god, very, thank you, you're dude. Just, you're, you're very funny, so like it's very easy to listen to. But it's oh, like watching nice. your streams too. It's like I can just sit and listen. It's great. It's <laughs> yeah, it's a good. it's a comedy art podcast. Yeah. Your art friends, please uh, check it out anywhere that you get your shows. Excellent. Thank you very much. Next up on my list is Blurred Without Fear, sir. Hey, there. please tell us where we can find you. Oh, yes, you can uh, find me on youtube.com forward slash blurred without fear. Uh, I do videos every week uh, breaking down comics and uh, explaining and breaking down lesser known characters. I also do a live stream uh, every Saturday uh, where basically I just talk about the latest, greatest, and maybe not so uh, greatest going on in the realm of comic books and comic book movies and uh tv shows and we laugh we have fun we make fun of things and maybe you might watch me ban somebody anyway <laughs> good it's <Excellent>. awesome <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much sir i appreciate it we're going thank around you. the horn on, on my end here which brings us to simply jackson please <laughs> where can we find you on the internet uh, uh simply jackson wherever you want to search and twitter or sorry twitch is simply underscore jackson where i am trying to get back into streaming i still work a solidly busy day job so please you know be patient with me um but i am progressing in the post Shadowbringers uh patch content for final fantasy 14 which has been so good um so if you want to watch some of that let's hang out 
That's all I got. Excellent. Or you can just follow me on Twitter and check out videos of my cat snoring. And look at cute selfies. Like, a full post <laughs> of, like, what she looks like in this chair tonight. She's very cute. <sighs> Go She's tell her sweating. She's sweating. <laughs> <laughs> it's for the art! It's for the art. <laughs> Thank you very Oscillate, much. Oscillate, fan. Leslie. Oscillate. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, next up, one Parallax Stella, my Hi. most aggressive cast member. Please, where oh. can we find you on the internet? Well, not at Joel's house tonight to kill him. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> good, uh, good. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. I stream every night, even though my chat tells me to take breaks and I don't know what breaks are. Uh, I focus mostly on FPS games, but I do switch out. I have been stuck on Deathloop, so I have been diving into the lore of Deathloop, which uh, you can catch a lore video coming next week. I want to say Friday is when I want to try and finish it by uh, a, a lore piece breaking down all the intricacies of Deathloop questions you might have. Um, so that'll be my next feature on uh, IGN. So, yeah. Excellent. Nice. And and uh, if you, you, might see, um, you might see my name in the news. After killing Arkham and Joel, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it'll get it justifiable. Get it, get it trending on Twitter, you know. Justifiable, <laughs> yes. justifiable. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go lock my doors real quick. Uh, but before that, <laughs> Finn, please let the people know where they can find you on the internet. What's up, folks? Uh, Phenomenon, thank you for having me here as always and for being so welcoming. Uh, I'm a partner streamer on Twitch, named Phenomenon. You can see it in chat if you do the. Uh, Exclamation orc command. Uh, I play lots of retro games. Lots. I love retro games. I love RPGs. Uh, Thursday was starting out this super obscure one on NES called Magic of Scheherazade. Um, we've been playing Mega Man Legends for the first time. That game is absolutely delightful. It feels like playing an anime episode from the early, late, late 80s. It's, it's a whole ass vibe. And every once in a while I do uh, D&D content on my channel too. Uh, if you're interested in that, you can check my YouTube. There's about 40 some episodes of that D and D campaign I ran on there. So. It's great late night content, by the way. Mm. If Very you ever late. need that, and you're an East Coaster. Late night content. It is superb. So. Uh, thank you guys very much for being here. Chat, thank you very much for all of the love and the support. Uh, if you would like to and you want to play in the game that I designed for you that affects this world that these players are in, head on over to patreon.com slash diefall. We'll be getting that cranked up here in the next week. Once again, thank you for being here. And our show is in two weeks from now at 8 p.m. Eastern time on a Tuesday. The next show up is Ruin Crimson, which is on Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Right here, where we get to see another one of these teams figure out what the hell, huh, is going on hey, around here. Hey, the jokes. Until next time, goodbye!